son of a gun. I'm going to repeat everything I just said. Welcome into a Friday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Clip Rock here, Pirate Radio Studios. Today is one of those days that makes you think we are in the fall because downtown Greenville is packed. People getting ready for doggy jams to hear DJ Shaq Diesel. People are getting ready for the spring game. People are getting ready for ECU's baseball series with Charlotte. And we have a ton of guests to get to on today's Pirate Radio Live. So many, I, had to, I wrote out a plan for the show. Sometimes I, I, look, I like to prepare for the show, but a lot of times I freestyle it. I think I work well freestyling. Today is not one of those days. Today I got to be focused and prepared. And starting the show off with the audio not playing on the video is a bad sign. And I'm taking 100% responsibility for that. Let me welcome in Chandler, because I think he's trying to take responsibility. That's all me, man. You're taking responsibility? That's all me. I don't, no, it's me. No, I'm sitting right here at the production chair. I should have noticed. I should have known that we talked to two guests on today's Pirate Radio Live. Tyler Savage and Chad Stevens. And I should have known that we put it in audition for yep. those uh, YouTube and Facebook only broadcasts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I should have known to put it back in program, and I didn't. That's on me. It is on me. I got to look in the mirror and say, my bad. Hit in the chest. But we move forward. How about it's our bad? our bad let's folks. apologize to those people and say it's our bad we apologize shirley rhodes is here chan is here coming up on today's show we will talk team boneyard at 315 matt slate from team boneyard will join us coming up here in a few minutes they at the the auction going on and uh talk about what team boneyard is doing for east carolina athletics under the nil umbrella so we'll have that coming your way in uh, about 15 minutes or so also we've got tyler savage and chad stevens uh tyler savage will be uh, participating in the spring game on saturday chad stevens coming off a finger injury was responsible for picking the purple team along with rajay harris so we'll talk about uh his role in the spring game and him uh getting back healthy and ready to get out on the field this fall so we got some ecu football interviews coming up in the four o'clock hour with tyler savage and uh, chad stevens hour three a lot of interviews morgan aylers will join us mark greenhelge will talk masters with us live around 315 320 or excuse me 515 520 or so and then brian north uh, will join us as well in hour number three of today's program so we've got a ton going on on this friday uh jamie is in the chat gang steve tyler all of them telling us there was no sound but we have that fixed now so we're good to go jamie says is this a zach issue or a chan issue this is a clip issue this is a us issue uh pj is in the house i know ready for some pirate baseball this weekend east carolina and charlotte pirates playing great and uh, hoping to keep their winning ways going we've got matt in the chat that says hadley says hello hello hadley hope you have a great weekend hey hadley beautiful weather outside and hey matt tyler says the gold d line is going to dominate so i guess the gold got the first team d line purple got the first team o line so look if purple can move the ball against that d line i think that's a good sign uh heading into summer and heading into the fall because uh, the defense is the strength of this east carolina team where is this offense and where is this offensive line how do they stack up with uh with the defensive side of the ball maybe we'll get a few answers to that coming up on saturday robert says hello pirate radio live i need some tickets for tomorrow in the stands hook me up uh please yeah really what are you demanding <laughs> oh God, tickets Jesus, man. who do you think you are robert <laughs> and I, he's yelling too yeah hook me up I, the, a total of five exclamation points in his three sentences there do you really think we're going to give you tickets after asking like that it wasn't even asking you it was demanding if i had tickets i'd give them to robert but i don't but i got a ticket for the spring game tomorrow for you yes sir i'll be there and so will clipper and so will jenny here it is robert there's your ticket you want to come down and pick it up 
you can get into the spring game for free with this ticket also everybody can get in for free because it is a free event coming up on a saturday will be uh where are you gonna be during the game i think up in the press box with you you want to hang yeah me and you just kind of indulge take in uh observe analyze what's going on in the spring game and we'll let you know afterwards uh probably do a little uh on location video are they uh feeding us you think um uh, i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say yes okay i hope you're right robert says he was talking to pirate nation so he was not talking to us that way he was talking to ecu fans that way gotcha (laughs) robert i'd still throw in a please but hey that's me that's just how i was raised here in eastern north carolina yeah i'd I'd still need to please chandler got a sir thrown at him today by tyler savage i believe it was multiple times because when he came in you were still talking to chad stevens and i asked him i said hey man he said how you doing i'm doing great um and i said do you want a water that's what we do when guests come in i said do you want a water he said yeah i'll take a water uh please sir i said i walked away i walked away and i was like hmm that's weird went back gave it to him thank you sir said it again um i asked him i said hey this is how we spell your name just want to make sure yes sir that's how you spell my name sir i said tyler <laughs> let me tell you something brother i'm only like two or three years older than you are so don't call me sir what a nice young man uh <laughs> two great guys chad stevens tyler savage we'll hear from them coming up later on in today's program and Chon, you're not at that age yet, but in about four or five years, late 20s, uh, early 30s, you're really going to start to hear the sir. And if it's from like a 15 or 16 year old, I'll get it. But like if it's a 22 or 23, it's still going to be very weird. I still say yes, sir, to people older than me in my 40s. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a guy that I. um, What's the age gap you need to, you think? that's a good question 25 and up like 25 years older than you mm-hmm. so that person was 25 years old when you were a baby no nah, i mean if i see a 62 year old man i'm i'm giving a sir that's 20 probably go probably about 20 yeah i think that's fair um zach said i'm pretty sure i've said sir to chandler before has intern zach said had served you He's a polite young man. It's more like a yes sir, like a yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Maybe when he, you know what? Maybe when he first started, he did. Yeah, but that's why Chandler wears the uh, the backwards hat, so he looks cool and young and hip. I mean, I am the Dan the Dan Quinn of uh, radio stations. <laughs> How many buttons you got on that one? Is Two. It, yeah, I noticed that. I told you. Hey, look at Chandler. I told you. Front and center, trying to show that off. Like, hey guys, check this out. I got two buttons here on the hat. It's not just on that one last poor button. Uh, Tyler said, do you serve people younger than you? No. No. Why would you do that? What are you talking about? You do the old yes, sir, or whatever. Like, yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> but you don't like... I have Chandler. You know I, w- I would not say sir to Zach or like ma'am to delaney i wouldn't say sir to alex who's only just a couple years younger than i am i think i throw out like at a gas station or something there's a girl younger than me i'll throw out a yes ma'am but i'm doing it like i i know what you i know what you're talking about i've done it it's not like a legit respect my elders and I, I, it's just like a being nice kind of a throwing it out there if i tell zach hey go over there and give me the burner phone he brings me the burner phone thank you sir yeah thank yeah, you sir like, like one of those <laughs> or if you're uh at stop shop with jay yeah and then jay i mean pirates gonna beat charlotte this weekend we need a swing <laughs> thank you sir thank you sir oh tyler's got one what if your boss is younger than you that's a good question so Sh- shirley are you older than jonathan no, we're the same age. Same age. But you're not, you don't sir him. You never sir him. No. I, I had Shirley so. with a thank you, thank you, ma'am, quite a bit. Yeah. But it's more of like a, it's not a elders thing. Yeah, it's just a phrase. Yeah. You just kind of toss it out and there you go. That's a good question, though, Tyler. 
It kind of reminds me of like NFL owners being called Mr. <laughs> and like Mr. Snyder instead of Dan. Like, do you really just because you have a lot well, of. You talk about the players say that to him? Yeah, but even like people in the organization like throwing out a mister. Yeah, and like in credit to Mr. Snyder or Mr. Tepper. We should uh, start calling Jonathan Mr. Ellerby. Mr. Ellerby. <laughs> Sir. Your Highness. <laughs> Jamie says. Your Honor. Clip uh, when I see you for the first time I expect a sir. You got it, Jamie. I'll give you one, buddy. When will that happen? When will that clip and Jamie uh, exchange meet? Uh, I'm going to say Jamie comes for a regional baseball game to Greenville, and I see him there. All right. Uh, Jennifer Honeycutt says, Chandler says, yes, ma'am, and sir, to all elders. That's how he was raised. Chandler is a polite young man. I'm an old soul. Very, very polite man. All right. Eric's being creepy. So, yeah, we'll move on. Uh, Sean, Master's Day. Let's get a Buccaneer Music Hall leaderboard update presented by the Buck. The Buck. Scotty Scheffler is knotted up with Bryson DeChambeau. So he hasn't uh, completely crapped the bed yet, huh? No, he's through 10, and he's 7 under par today. Bryson DeChambeau is. I feel like that's what he does. I feel like that's what he's done in the past, that he has, he's off to great starts, and then he kind of just kind of tails off. He makes the cut, but like Saturday and Sunday, maybe the pressure gets to him. But maybe that's not going to be the case this weekend, looking for his first green jacket. DeChambeau is 7 under through 10, Scheffler 7 under through 4, and then Max Homa is 6 under par, Danny Willett 5 under, there are two golfers, uh, Hoggard and Fox, at four under par. Uh, so that's a look right now at your Masters leaderboard as they play in Augusta. They had to finish early morning some of round one. Tiger had seven holes left, I believe. And then... It's, to- uh, is Tiger going to make the cut? I'm not sure what the cut line is. Let me see. Does it show it up? On- All right. Projected cut line is plus four. <laughs> Where is uh, he? Four over, and he is. I want to say around one over. Okay. Um, that's what I saw the last time I was tuning into him. So <clears throat> let's see. I've got a. VJ Singh's playing in the Masters. He's a uh, former champion, I guess. Yeah, right? I guess. I had that same thing yesterday with when I saw like Phil Mickelson. I was like, oh man, I hadn't seen Phil Mickelson in a while. He's playing, but then I was like, oh yeah, he's a champ. Yep. One over is uh, Tiger Woods through 16 so he is looking good to at least make the cut yeah mully said if tiger makes the cut he wanted him to be in contention because he doesn't want a tiger woods takeover on the broadcast i don't i don't know man if scotty keeps playing this way if d shambo's up there i mean i don't think it's gonna be a total tiger takeover i popped on a little uh pga tour on the xbox last night that was fun i remember the I like the way you move. Do, 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 do. What was that on a Tiger game? Tiger game, 05, yeah. to, be, uh, to be exact. I've never been um, great at those Tiger games. Do you still see maybe a withdrawal from Tiger, maybe on Saturday? I mean, you could, but why would you? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> but it's one of those things where you can just kind of foresee it happening. I guess you could see a uh, Scotty Scheffler leave because his wife is going into labor. Uh, who was telling me? I think Scotty and somebody else uh, is in that same predicament where their wives are pregnant and are like on the brink of having the baby any moment now. Jamie points out no one has moved past minus seven today, not scoring much. Interesting. So, like yesterday, DeChambeau led after one round with seven under par seven under par and hasn't moved so i don't understand all the well i mean i guess i do the conditions the wind things like that but what leads to more scoring what leads to less scoring the whole placement maybe is i got something to do with it too so maybe we see a lower scoring day here in round number two all right let's uh we got a lot to do so let's get a break in we'll come back we'll talk to matt slate team boneyard and have more for you hour one pirate radio live on a very busy friday back with you after these words
here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood. It's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time. It's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Pirate fans, the 2024 ECU football season will be here before you know it, and season tickets are on sale now. Lock in your season tickets to be a part of the Dowdy Ficklin experience all year long. Season tickets start as low as $115. Payment plans are also available to fans who lock in their seats early. Just head to ecupirates.com or call the athletic ticket office at 1-800-DIAL-ECU. We look forward to seeing you in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in 2024. This is Aaron Williams with New Blue Service Group. People have been asking, what's new at New Blue? And I'm always glad to tell them that we now specialize in crawl space moisture control and encapsulations, along with septic system repairs and installations. As always, we offer plumbing, electrical, and HVAC, all while redefining service excellence. So go ahead, contact us at callnewblue.com. That's callnublue.com. Go Pirates! This is Talbot Green with Integrity Home Mortgage. Are you ready and pre-approved if the home you want to purchase comes for sale today? This is a very important step when trying to purchase a home in the current market. Integrity Home Mortgage offers a wide variety of loan programs. Our team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, and Joanne Weir has over 50 years of experience and is committed to providing you with the superior customer service you deserve. To get started, call me, Joanne Weir, at 531-1148. Joanne Weir, NMLS, 75974. For information. Purposes only. Integrity Home Works Corporation is an equal housing lender. NMLS 208516. Kawasaki's Ridge and Ridge XR family set the new off road standard. Built for work and play. Ridge side by sides deliver versatile performance with a powerful four cylinder engine and premium interior features. And for even more trail taming power, the Ridge XR family offers more horsepower and versatility for rugged work or advanced play. This is peak premium performance. So stop by Ron Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11, north of the airport in Greenville. Are you tired of the same old fast food routine? Shake things up for lunch and dinner at Clean Eats Cafe. We've cracked the code to make healthy dining tasty and affordable. Whether it's a power lunch or a family dinner, we've got you covered. Sit down in our cafe for a brainstorming session or catch up with friends. Even stop in after a workout for protein smoothies or a protein iced coffee. Our atmosphere is welcoming and our food is fresh. All for about the same price as fast food. It's time to ditch the drive through and feast on flavor at Clean Eats Cafe, Red Banks Road in Arlington Village. I'm back, and so glad to be back in the town that I love, but also glad to be back with the best chiropractor anywhere. Worth Chiropractic was my choice before I left Greenville, and my travels have not changed my mind. No one offers the care or service like Worth Chiropractic. Neck pain, back pain, and of course, sports-related injuries, they will get you back to being you, naturally and safely. Worth Chiropractic, two convenient locations on Arlington Boulevard. Free consultations, and they'll work with your lawyer and file your insurance. Call 1-800-BACK-DOC today. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Parker Bird, and the best place to go for custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items is University Sportswear. University Sportswear was super easy to work with when I needed my custom shirts. From start to finish, University Sportswear provided superior customer service and a quality product that cannot be beat. If your business, organization, or event needs t-shirts or promotional help, then you need University Sportswear. Visit University Sportswear, ENC dot com for contact information go pirates talk radio radio from the depths of space the center outer space mumbo jumbo of the talk universe the center of what pirate radio we have prepared a planet with a suitable atmosphere You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Vacation spots are right here in our very own backyard. You can take a trip to a state park and enjoy traditional camping, RV space, and also air-conditioned cabins that can be rented with Wi-Fi. If you're by a lake, be sure to check out the opportunities to rent a canoe or kayak and get out on the water. 
Your next adventure is right around the corner. For more information, please visit ncparks.gov. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here is your host, Clip Rock. All right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live, hour number one on a busy Friday, an awesome Friday here in Greenville. We got great weather. We got doggy jams about to go on across the street. We got Pirate Baseball and, of course, the spring game coming up on a Saturday. So a lot going on, and uh, we'll talk about some of that right now with Matt Slate, who joins us from Team Boneyard. Matt, welcome in. How you doing, man? Man, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me here. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it brings me back to my uh, campus radio days here, so it's uh, it, it's it's always interesting to put the headphones back on. As a former uh, ZMB, let me ask, what did you uh, do there? <laughs> so uh, I w- actually worked on the Club 91 Rap Attack. So I, <laughs> okay. you know, if you remember uh, Brian Pays and Lee oh, Judge yeah. and – that crew i also had a mixed show on saturday nights what so. was your uh some of your go-to tracks uh back then i was like a i was definitely a new york sounding uh like a i, w- I would put it more in the native tongues type stuff so drop call quest okay also was a big mob deep person that um, was pre biggie i guess yeah no but yeah biggie was i was i was uh, right around that time yeah puff puffy like really puff daddy became something at that point uh between flavor and year and all right uh, so that's my secret uh most people don't expect that that's pretty cool yeah, yeah i did um <laughs> so i did all the sports stuff i could do there i did a sports show i did some play by play but in order to do that they made me host a rock show yeah like over like saturday at midnight or something and i was like yeah whatever i got to do to do sports i'll do it do but remember, it was fun it was, yeah. do you remember chainsaw do you remember the guy chain he did a I'm, I'm talking about serious heavy metal and he went on directly after the rap show and i'm like i would have loved to have watched the 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 people that were spinning the right yeah and like off <laughs> off and on uh pr- pretty funny but an eclectic uh, mix uh yeah there at WZMB. It, was, it, was, it was definitely uh but it was a lot of fun i learned i mean they just replaced the board Oh wow! That I need to go check I it used out. From ninety two to ninety seven, they just replaced the board last year. Man, so I was in there. Uh, have you been down? I've, 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 I've not. Should. I was there early, in kind of midish two thousands. Yeah. So. so if you go down in the basement of Mendenhall now, you're going to be shocked. They've right. actually made uh, Pirate Media look uh, like a real like a real place down there. Okay. Yeah. So I anyways, need to go check that out now. Yeah. Whole different subject. We're j- t- jumping around here. But oh, we're out of time, yeah, Matt. Yeah, Thanks for coming it. down. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Matt Slade joining us. So, Matt, what do you uh, do in your real life? Uh, so, in real life, I spent um, 27 years in the financial services industry. Um, had an opportunity to, to exit that. I was, I was I worked in New York City the last uh, about 15 years, and that was a great adventure but um my daughter graduated from high school uh my wife and i were both ready to return to the south i've always felt uh, like this place was home to me and so we've done that and i've been um i, I volunteer around the campus I, I've, I've done some guest lecturing i do um, i'm actually the chair of the ECU foundation so from the philanthropic side and also um have gotten more involved with nil probably in the last six months so, awesome yeah. yeah so a little bit a little bit of everything um where are you from originally portsmouth virginia okay yeah 10 four. yeah all right then uh he is a pirate and now uh representing team boneyard and man uh some really cool stuff going on with the team boneyard auction yeah. matt something for everybody here we had coach mcneil on and talked about uh what she's doing uh with the film session and yeah. uh, also a dinner i see yeah. now uh but if you go to team boneyard.com or dot org i'm sorry team boneyard.org click on the link you'll see it right when you, you jump on the page you'll see all the options here for the uh the auction going on yeah i mean and we what we tried to do we, we you know and, and this is definitely looking at message boards listening to fans doing things like that but we wanted to try to find a way to get our fans closer to the student athletes as we can um and balance that out with obviously some tickets and some other experiences but it really was trying to put together experiences that i would say you know it, it's just not normally out there for the fans so you're talking about things like uh there's there's a whole section of pregame um passes so you know coming down onto the onto the field uh you know w- when they're warming up you know you can kind of get a feel right I mean, if, if you've ever been down there it's a whole different level of intensity right? yeah i mean these guys are getting ready for the game then you've got the band uh you've got purple haze you've got the whole that, that whole experience um and if you've ever been down that close i mean you can like taste the, the smoke it's not yeah. just smell it i mean it's it's strong 
uh but but stuff like that i want uh we've, we've got things that are behind the scenes tours uh if you if you do one with basketball you you actually get to play a game of horse that's what i was looking at that's <laughs> i got my eye on that one <laughs> right we just got i mean you know we were trying to make it kind of you know make it fun yeah um we there's also film sessions that's a buy it now it's not a thing you bid on but you uh we, we've got those uh, you mentioned kim mcneil we've also got one with uh blake harrell and uh jdb that's uh next uh the 19th is friday the next friday uh and they're kind of back to back 5 p.m 7 p.m so if you're looking for something to do uh you 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 can you know get to hear about their philosophies talk some film you know they're probably not gonna give you out the play calls but they're gonna they're gonna go a little more in depth about what their philosophy is um i mean we're gonna get to see a little bit of that uh on saturday yeah yeah and we're gonna be uh so it's it's things like that we were really trying to get creative and that some of it came look some of these ideas came straight off of message boards it was like hey that's a good idea that's good i mean <laughs> we talked about that with justin bear from ecu marketing that they hear and see everything out there just because you have an idea doesn't mean it's a good idea or they'll implement it but it sounds like they do take what the pirate nation says and at least discuss it and it's cool to see team boneyard doing that as well yeah we i mean we went to them with uh, i mean it was a long 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 spreadsheet of can we do this right and so it was then it was figuring out uh if we can and if we could will the coach buy into it right yeah right. there's right. that part too yeah. yeah oh absolutely you know and, and, and we didn't really get there was no like major pushback about anything we was just kind of figuring out so i mean tomorrow uh, on yeah on saturday uh we're gonna have somebody kick a field goal between the first and second um so i've got a pair of uh very nice white and gold cleats sitting on <laughs> it's actually sitting on my kitchen counter right now for him but he's gonna get uh, announced and and brought out and i know he's gonna split the uprights uh but it was trying to create stuff like that yeah it's like Really if nothing cool else, cleats. you get cool cleats, right? He gets cool cleats. I yeah. Mean, yeah I, asked, I was like, you don't have cleats. He's like, no, I don't have cleats. I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. I like that. Yeah. But, um, and I think this is also a little bit of a test of what we can, uh, what, what our fans want, what our fans don't. So sure. We're getting feedback, um, but we, and we tried to price it where <clears throat> people will, will want to engage, right? I think this is just, this is just different in the context of, of what we've done before with our fan base. And you use the word test. All of this is kind of a test. <laughs> like, th- this is still new, relatively, the whole NIL deal. And credit to you guys. I talked to uh, Doug Gomes a lot, just a yeah. great man, and, and what he's doing with Team Boneyard. You guys are still kind of filling out what exactly this is, right? Oh, 100%. And, I mean, if you – if you, uh, I've got news alerts set on my phone, and, you know, I feel like about once a week you read a story and go, mm, well, that's – that's different <laughs> um and so I and mean, you realize that every time a court ruling happens that the ncaa is going to have to move to the lowest common denominator so you're like oh that was in tennessee I'm like, yeah but that's going to be give give it a week right and that'll be the, that'll be the new rule um but i i think what we've realized is there you, you you've also got to build out a sustainability model Right. This is not going away. I think we've had that. Con- I've had that conversation multiple times of kind of, like, oh, I don't, you know, when's this, when's this change? I was mm-hmm. like, it, it may change, but it's not going away. Right? Yeah. The, the, the ability for student athletes to monetize their aim, name, image, and likeness is, is a thing that's going to be there forever. You look at the, uh, you look at a young woman from LSU. Uh, I mean, she's three, four million subscribers, has a Viore. <laughs> Uh, you know contract but i mean you look at that right she she's one of the people you look at so wow she really figured it out and was able to, to create a real brand for herself and so part of that is also kind of getting that mindset i think within the collective of not just how do we raise money but how do we also try to communicate with our student athletes of hey like you, you have the opportunity to build your own brand right i mean some some may choose not to do that but mm-hmm. other ones you know that's part of the marketability that they could have um yeah it's no guarantee for anybody and and like you said there are some that um maybe aren't taking advantage of all the things they could do right and i think that's you just kind of have to it's it's a it's a mindset change right and then now it's even creeping into uh within high schools here private high schools here in, in the state of north carolina but i mean so but i think if you if you land an athlete that comes from that route that's already gonna be in the back of their mind Right, and so I think this is an education process to what you said. Both both the board, you know, the advisory board that we've got um, has tried to be creative. I think you know the athletic department has been great and 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 recognizes that this is something that has got to be addressed. Uh, we've had good partnership um, with all the, the MMR partners over there, so it's 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 been navigating all of that. 
Um, and, and kind of going, oh, wow, this is, uh, you start to kind of figure out, too, the amount of money that has been put into it, right? We just had, you look at what happened at at, uh, at Arkansas, right? I mean, uh, Calipari makes this change. Why does he do it? Uh, a lot of it probably has to do with the Tyson Jack, right? Yeah, yeah I, mean, uh, I, I, I would say most of it. Yeah, yeah. right? I mean, you don't, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's basketball royalty. Uh, but it's changing that landscape and the, what, the decisions that are being made by coaches, players, and everything else. Um, so, that's that, that's kind of what we're doing. So that's one of the things we wanted to do was try to bring our fans closer to our players. And I think that's cool. I, I, that's my favorite part of what I do is talking to the guys, getting to know them. Yeah. Uh, a guy like Rajay, uh, of course, we got a relationship with Holt Nailers, but even yeah. today, talk, and you'll hear interviews with Tyler Savage and Chad Stevens. Uh, really just great young men and uh and and that's my favorite part interacting with them and now the fans get to do that and i think i've always said matt when you get to know them as people rather yeah. than football playing robots or basketball like yeah. it, you look at it a little bit different you know yeah no and i think it's it's finding a way to kind of get that message out there um uh, that's that's always been the I think it's also the hard part right because this was a light switch of a change it, yeah. was, it was no you cannot you, you know, no, you cannot go to dinner with them. No, you cannot do this. You yeah, you can't give them right. five bucks exactly. for a burger. Right. right, you can't do any of those things. Okay, now you can. And so <laughs> I think there's also, it just creates confusion um, amongst people because they're like, well, wait a minute, I've always been told you can't do that. And now you now you can? Yeah. Yeah, well, actually you can. And, and so, um, but I think you're starting to see more advertising, more, you know, things that are also using our student athletes. Um, yeah. And we're also trying to do more co-branded things. Like, I mean, you talk about doggy jams, but... But Brett and Crush uh, have, have been a, um, a, a great partner with us. We're working with another, um, what I would call snack food company here in Greenville. Uh, uh, that is, a, he's a he's a Pirate alum. Uh, that we're going to hopefully have something that's going to be co-branded with him. But it's 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 those things too of trying to build out awareness of what Team Boneyard is, uh, and and having these conversations about you know why are we doing what we're doing? How does the money get to players? Right. Um, wh- what do the players do? Right. And so. The auction piece is one of it. The other pieces we've tried to, uh, you know, we have a partnership with um, uh, PPS, uh, Parents for Public Schools, Pitt County, uh, and we've gotten the, um, the students into the classroom. Mm-hmm. And into uh, that's been, like, I think one of the most amazing things to watch is not just the student athlete having the chance to be a mentor, but the feedback we've gotten from teachers, principals, and others when these, great. When these student athletes have gotten into the schools, it's like, oh, they're supposed to be there for an hour. They stayed for three. You know, they, not only do they read to them, they play kickball with them. Yeah. Right? And so I think that though, when you when you realize, hey, these to your point, you know, these guys are, they're humans, yeah. right? And they they embrace these opportunities to actually be leaders. Um, and I think there's some of these young people, you know, outside of Pitt County, or in Pitt County, but outside of the, the core of Greenville that, you know, some, they don't realize, sometimes these young people don't realize, hey, you can go to college, you can be an athlete, and you can get an education. Right? All of the above. Yeah. Uh, Alex Harper, the long snapper for the football team, interns with us. And he told he was here Wednesday afternoon, I believe. He said earlier that morning he and uh, some teammates were at a school. And yeah. uh, just, just really cool stuff they're doing. So on the note of educating people, yeah. I was late to the party, Matt. I, I jumped <laughs> on. My big $10 a month uh, is going somewhere. So if people do sign up with a monthly donation, where does it go and how is it distributed? So, I mean, if... It's it's not an exact formula, but I would say it's probably, you know, a little more than two thirds, a little less than three quarters is going to football. Uh, the rest of that, w- w- with the twenty three club now f- focused, right. they're, they're yeah. a partner with us. Yeah. They're focused on baseball. Uh, the, the majority of everything else is going towards uh, men's basketball, and then we're also doing some things for women's basketball. Uh, and we've done some one-off. We've had some one-off uh, supporters that have wanted to do things uh, with, with women's soccer, women's lacrosse. Um, so can you direct it where you want to go? I think if you do a bigger, yeah, if we're, you do a bigger, yeah, number, we're, yeah. We're, it's it's an accounting thing where uh, yeah. you know I think the membership model. We're going to focus on that's kind of the next piece when we get done with the spring auction. Uh, we're going to really focus on what that membership model looks like it means. Yeah. Um, so that's a little more valuable, right? And so, so to your point, you know, kind of you can go from no frills to more frills, right? Um, I think we got that piece, and we hope we have a a shop also up and running. Cool. Um, so yeah. you can have 
some, some, you know, you can purchase gear. That's the other thing, right? You have hats, this hat, right? That, that hat hurts the follically challenge. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I've talked to some, some people on team Boneyard and you guys, again, you're, you're kind of filling it out, learning the process, yeah. learning what you're doing here, uh, as far as divvying the funds and how, I don't know. Do, do the coaches have input on this, or is this just you guys? Or you I know? mean, we we definitely talk to the coaches in the context of um, you know what are we trying to achieve, right? right? I yeah. mean, you know, it's it's uh, and that's that's where when you go back and look at some of the challenges that some of the other schools got into is this you know there's this chicken and egg <laughs> as to which one's first, um, and we we were the, the NCA said you know they have to be done from a recruiting standpoint sign sign the letter and then you can deal with right yeah or or if you're already here right then you can deal with it so we were doing it that way but uh, we. We, you know, we, we do have the conversations uh, with. We all quit following the rules, by the way. Can we break some? And but no, it, it's it's kind of it's maddening, right? That you do it the right way and right. Well, I mean, it's but when you when you when you're in the middle of it, you're like, man, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. But I understand how it got, it, it got sideways at some places, yeah. and I don't think that was done. You know, to be, I just understand how it can get sideways because yeah. you're having that. Uh, like, this is, a, a, you know, recruitment now. I mean, I if I'm if if I was recruiting you and you're, you're you're coming in, you're like I am the I am the best three point shooting guard you're going to find, right? Yeah, I, they're, they're they're shaking their head in the control room. But the clip, if you're if you're that guy, right, you're going to be like, yeah, I can hit that. And then uh, how much I get paid? Right, that's right. a question that's <laughs> going to come up probably early on in the conversation. It I is. Imagine. So I think our coaches, you know, were the in the situation of hey, this we have a strong collective. These are the type of things that we've been able to do for our players, right? Right, and then we'll, we'll you know, once we get through that process, we'll get to, we'll we'll get you in front of them. So, um, I, and now it's a, it's a it's a little bit different where we're you know we've we've like right now Schwartz is in the middle of recruitment. We haven't had conversations about players but we have had a conversation with him about hey this is how we're prepared right now to support you and by the way if anybody would like to continue to, to help grow that number um that number uh, it's pretty amazing basketball because there's a, such a smaller set of players right um it's 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 a little more eye-opening around what the players I, I, market value might be versus football where you're hey look there's you know there there's there's 12 wide receivers on every team yeah. you know in the country so but there's you know there's really a one guard and, and there maybe there's a backup that, that plays a little bit but the the you know the, the fall off goes pretty quick so the 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 value there is is it, it's concentrated sure I think is the way i would look at it so yeah. um so it's just kind of been interesting to also learn that as a as a member of a collective of hey look you have to approach football one way basketball another way um, and then I know, you know, for, peripherally from watching baseball, that's that's also being done in a different way as well, right? And I think, I think that's a sport where it's going to continue to evolve. I think there, it, it's just kind of starting to take hold uh, with it, within that sport. Matt Slate, Team Boneyard, joining us inside the Pirate Radio Studios. You go to teamboneyard.org and sign up yourself, like I did, or uh, check out the auction items as well. And uh, you said you'll be out there on a Saturday. What do you guys have planned yeah, for so the weekend? We've got a. Uh... I've got a, we've got a, a, an actual team boneyard tent, which I was I'm pretty excited about to actually have. Uh, but we're going to be set up um, in the vendor area. Uh, we're going to be right out right out by the town bank tower. Um, I think it's two, spot two fifty three. Uh, we might have a little bit a little bit of swag you can purchase uh, with proceeds going to help uh, team boneyard and. Um, we're going to have obviously have some uh, some QR codes and things that will point you to th- towards the auction. Uh, I've, we're we're going to make sure that uh, Spencer gets out there and kicks his field goal during the, the between the first and the second. Um, but we're really just out there to meet fans. And, yeah, and, and I, I, I think this is going to be a well attended event. I mean, it sounds like it seems that way. Yeah, yeah I mean, you get perfect weather. Um, a heck of a day if you're a pirate. Right? They moved it to One. kind of coincide with baseball, exactly. which was a good idea. Yeah, I mean, you really can kind of you wrap up that game. Um, you can go have another pirate beverage or two, and then uh, get straight in there. To, uh, you know, to, to watch Charlotte, which that's that. You know, I don't think the record indicates how good of a baseball team they are. Yeah, 
talking to, to Mike Mullis, who does the ESPN Plus calls, he said before the year, now this is a team that was in postseason, uh, but have like 30 new players. So I feel like they're going to be playing yeah. a lot better later in the year than they were earlier. And yeah. Hopefully that doesn't start this weekend, yeah. but it should be. <laughs> and, and it's kind of turned into a rivalry. Yeah. And let's face it, Charlotte has had our number in a number yeah. of sports, no. football and basketball, yeah. namely. Yeah, so. no, it's frustrating. I may, um, I, I shouldn't even say this. I have a, a, ma- I have a, a master's degree from Charlotte. But okay. But uh, they, uh, they only get forty nine dollars from me. <laughs> the forty ers get forty nine. Yeah, but no, um, no. There's, there, there, I'm definitely not rooting for anything that's green and gold out there. That's, there that's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I agree with you. They, they, their, their programs have been competitive. Yeah, um, and uh, and we need a rival. Let's face it. A conference rival would be fun. And, oh, it is. Yeah, let's, right. Let's make it Charlotte. Let's, um, let's beat them up. I'm planning. I, you know, I think it's October fifth. Uh, we play them in football, and I plan to be there. Turn, turn. I get the lucky chance to turn fifty on October sixth. So, uh, wow, you're yeah. a you're a young forty nine. <laughs> I will say, uh, you gonna wear your Biff shirt out there with the cutoffs and everything? Or? I, no, uh, <laughs> no. I, I, I've I, got one for you if I, you need I, it. That would that wouldn't pass my uh, my my. I wouldn't pass the test with my wife. <laughs> she she would uh nor my daughter they would not let me they would not be near me eric says uh clip you need a live on-air cash out from DraftKings to donate to team boneyard <laughs> if scotty scheffler wins this weekend i'll up my donation a little bit so i have uh, I, I i'm aware of uh, another person that's heavily invested in scheffler and yeah. uh yeah he, I, he was he was posting on uh on his instagram this morning i'm like don't count it yet man but uh yeah i mean off 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 to a good start uh let me so other than your love of east carolina you your love of of east carolina athletics um what are you getting from all this time and effort and energy put into team boneyard i want to win yeah but as far as monetary everything right now right now we have we've got six six advisory board members no one's uh we're, we're we're not getting paid we're trying to figure out like at, there's a point though we are getting to a point of size that we're probably going to have to figure out do you hire an employee right do you yeah hire, do, you hire, that, do you hire an employee do you hire a consultant do you have i mean there's actually companies that do this as well uh we've interviewed um pretty exhaustively we've talked to uh, four or five of those companies um and you're trying to figure out like is that going to be the right answer though because mm-hmm. I mean, um I, th- I would say that there's probably not many NIL collectives that have been able to do what we have done uh, with six volunteers. And I think there's a little bit of ownership uh, between all six of us to go, wait, I don't want to just, wa- you know, you know, wash my hands of it. And, and, and someone, I think our fan base is unique, right? I th- you can't plug and play what works for Oklahoma mm. for East Carolina, right. right? And that's kind of that's been the some of the heartache when I think when, heartburn for me at least when I talk to them. It's like wait, wait, I I hear you and I hear that that works, but I don't know that that works in this demographic yeah, with, with, with this set of fans, right? Like you can you know you, you you're not going to be able to drop a hundred you know uh, you know a thousand a hundred and fifty dollar polos and you're just going to sell them out right right and yeah. so that model does i don't think works and so when we've pushed back on some of that and we've done more interviews about okay who's really our peers um it, it, it's given us a little more heartburn so we got to figure that out though if we do uh we we know we do um because this is um it, it's it's much more a professional organization that has to be done so you're keeping an eye on what's going on around the country with these yeah. other schools do you have any idea at all where we sit say amongst the aac yeah i think um i do i, I we've and and i will give um john uh, is also helped with a ton of us of try, and john and ryan of just trying to market survey everything yeah. right um i think we're sitting in you know football wise upper middle uh i'd say we're in the middle from a basketball oh, perspective okay yeah i mean there's a couple basketball programs well, two well, years ago fau it doesn't help it does not hurt if we made the if we made the final four <laughs> uh the, the dollars would be different yeah, but they yeah. had um you know they had a, they had three players that were um you know that were doing pretty well uh, i would have i would have been happy with what they were getting paid from my understanding um last year we'll see how that continues to go there's a reason they were able to keep a lot of those guys and yeah. not go somewhere else yeah right I, I, i'll put it this way um yeah, Houston put, put something out uh, today. Uh, obviously, not in the AAC anymore. Yeah. But they they literally asked. They said we need a million dollars for our basketball team to retain. To mm. ret- and, and it was focused on retention, right? Wow. 
because they want to continue to 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 have the players that they have. So that gives you price points. I think, um, yeah, and I think the number is continuing to go up. I think the good news is for us is that we're. We're, we're exit. We're uh, there's a line of sight on the facilities plan that gets, right. gets over with. Yeah, and so that does mean that um, you 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 can kind of prioritize of hey, if you want to be a supporter, uh, how, how do you continue to support? Well, we've got to be able to not only have great facilities, but we want to have players in those facilities that are really really good training and and and, and so i think that 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 will benefit us a little bit um over the next few years being able to, to point towards nil versus facilities i yeah. mean it's you know there's there's a there's a limited number there's a <laughs> of dollars no doubt speaking of that uh finish line with the pirates unite campaign uh the strucks curtis yeah. struck uh, his family of course cj struck who i believe we'll have on the show uh on tuesday when bryce williams joins us they were old teammates and buddies but we'll talk to cj the strug family uh giving a one million dollar investment into the pirates unite campaign and that's a good point if we get to the finish line yeah. there uh that could maybe help team bungard it can and i i don't think you're you know would i would i love to have 10 of those <laughs> yes of yeah. course right but i think what you what we, what we also have to really start to think about is okay when you have a conversation with someone that has those capabilities what can that look like over five years right mm. right and so you start to build out that's the whole part of this process is starting to think about we need to have that 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 line of sight of like the the crush thing was about moving zero off of zero. So when we reset every year, we don't want zero to be zero. You right. Know, you yeah. want to find that way. Kind of in it for the long haul. Right. And that's where the subscription model also helps. Right. Yeah. Like you, like your ten dollars is a big deal because we need three thousand. You need <laughs> yeah. Right. But, but three thousand, right? Ten dollars a month. All of a sudden, we're talking about three hundred and sixty thousand bucks. Yeah. Right. And so that that and you do you you we you know brett's put out there publicly we'll see how that goes a long run but there's there's a chance where vodka could be a big thing we we have to find all these little pieces and line them up and when you stack them right all of a sudden you say hey zeros 600 right yeah that's a lot of that's a lot better starting point sure than, than you know re, re, you know restarting a zero but we're this is really you know year really really year two mm-hmm. right i mean it's you know it's it's year three from nil but we you know i would say this is really year two where it's like okay we're really starting to kind of lay out what do we what do we need to do right and and some of us are just hey look i will fall down and skin our knees a little bit there's been <laughs> there's some learning in this in this uh in the auction of okay this is what fans care about this is what they don't right and yeah. we, you kind of have to cast a net and okay well that didn't work and that did so um it's a little bit a little bit of learning curve and well you know we'll, we'll, the good news is this it's it's good feedback it's instantaneous feedback oh that didn't sell that price doesn't work now okay. you know now you know <laughs> for the next time <laughs> It's the best you could do uh matt we're, we're up against it yeah. uh, anything else you want to get out today no i mean i appreciate it like you said teamboneyard.org uh you know right in dead center in the, in the page you can click it it'll take you to the auction um we appreciate everybody's support um uh, whether it's membership uh big small uh it all adds up um and we're we're trying to direct as you know as much as we can to make sure that we're recruiting and retaining working with the coaches working with the athletic department um, and be prepared that there will continue to be changes that come from the NCA because their backs are against the wall <laughs> yeah. a little bit, right? I mean, they they, they know what they're. Yeah, I think they all of a sudden woke up and went, "Wait a minute, this is this is potentially, you know, could could shut down our organization as we as we know it Man. if you're them, right? Yeah. So I, I do think you're now seeing them react pretty uh, quicker. Well, Matt, uh, thank you for all you're doing, man, and I'm, and, and I'm, the great people you're working with, and uh, hopefully. Uh, who knows where this thing could go? We'll, no, we'll, I appreciate you having me. I, yeah. You know, and and being a Team Boneyard uh, supporter, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ten bucks, folks. Hey, 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 do it today. Exactly. Why uh, not? Yes. All right. Uh, we'll talk to you again down the road, Matt. Appreciate Thanks, man. it, man. Uh, we'll take a break. Come back. Wrap up hour number one. When we return uh, in hour two, we'll hear from a couple of Pirate student athletes, Tyler Savage and Chad Stevens, getting ready for the spring game on Saturday. That and a lot more on the way. Back with you after this. The 
Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up! Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates! Country music artist and comedian Rodney Carrington is coming May 4th to Weldon Mills Theater, Eastern North Carolina's best entertainment venue. Conveniently located just off I-95 in Roanoke Rapids, Weldon Mills Theater offers a hassle-free entertainment experience with free parking, wallet-friendly concessions, and a cozy atmosphere. With comfortable seating throughout the venue, there isn't a bad seat in the house. Join Weldon Mills Theater for a memorable event where you can relax and make lasting memories. Get your tickets for Rodney Carrington on May 4th at WeldonMillsTheater.com. This is Holt Nailers for my friends at Anson Belts, the belts that I wear. Go to AnsonBelt.com to find micro-adjustable holeless belts with over 30-plus options of a quarter inch apart instead of your typical five holes one inch apart, always giving you the perfect fit every time. If your waist fluctuates, Anson Belt is great because you can always find the perfect fit any time of the year. AnsonBelt.com, over 10,000 combinations to choose from, a belt for every occasion, and the official belt of the Holt Nailer Show. Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith is F3 and is changing lives of men right here in your community. Just listen. Hi, my name is Kyle Allagood, 37, showboat here. It's changed my life in a lot of ways. The biggest one has been accountability, showing up here on a weekly basis, knowing that people are always going to be here to work out with me. I've just met so many people out here in Greenville that I would not have met if I would have not come out. F3ENC.com. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started if you want to be great. While you're sleeping, and our whole hogs are slow cooking over wood to create that bite that Eastern North Carolina is known for. I'm Sam Jones, and for more than three generations, my folks have been the torchbearers for what whole hog barbecue is supposed to be. At Sam Jones, you'll find plenty of smoke but no mirrors. Everything, and I mean everything, is made fresh daily, including our sides, sweets, and sauces. Come on over and see us at Sam Jones Barbecue, and I bet you'll be able to taste our passion in just one bite. Sam Jones Barbecue, Fire Tower Road. Saturday, April 13th, the fourth annual NC Strut Masters Championship is back. Presented by Whitetail Properties Real Estate. Turkey hunters from all over the country are headed east to put their skills to the test, and the top scoring birds will win big cash prizes up to $30,000. Live performances by Sadie Bass. Nate Hosey, Styles Hurry, and much, much more. Registration is now open for two-man teams at ncstrutmasters.com. The new weigh-in will be held at Briley's Farm on Old Pactolis Highway in Greenville. Brought to you by Sam Jones Barbecue, Grady White Boats, Greenville Marine Outdoor, Big Rock Power Sports, Avian X Decoys, Matavo Tools, Country Mart Stores, Mountain Dew, Robinson Law Firm, and Old North State Trust. It's the NC Strut Masters Championship. We'll see you there. <laughs> Pirate Radio. We not no punks. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself? when you can be a pirate now back to the show welcome back did you know that there's thousands of special needs children and adults right here in our community that love ecu athletics as much as you do robbie's clubhouse is a local nonprofit organization that can turn your unused ecu tickets into a fun day for a family with special uh, with special needs if you can't make it to the next pirate game simply call 1-800-DOLL-ECU and donate and designate your tickets for robbie's clubhouse If you know of a family that needs tickets to a game, call Robbie's Clubhouse at 252-916-9117. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Look at this, John. 
and Charlotte. Tiger is on the green with sand blasting all over him because of the wind. Oh, it died down, of course, right when you look. There was little, you could see the sand coming out of the, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And uh, Tiger's like shielding his eyes from the sand trap sand as he prepares for this putt. So it is whipping down there, there go, in Augusta. Uh, it's like a, a windy day at the beach out there for the uh, the golfers right now. Uh, by the way, Scheffler with a bogey, so that means DeChambeau uh, is alone at the lead right now at seven under par, and Scheffler is shooting from the woods here. That's not a good... Uh, he's hitting off some pine straw. All right, we'll keep you up to date on that on the Buccaneer Music Hall leaderboard uh, presented by DeBuck. Uh, speaking of the sand, Scotty's in it uh, right beside the green there all right uh thanks to matt slate for joining us on the show we gotta, Booyah! we gotta take another break there's a tiger putt he is plus one and is that it for him yeah that's it for his round two so he finishes plus one two rounds and boy tiger's hair not looking great these days but his body certainly is what's he got going on up there chandler i don't know Hey, I think keep wearing the hat. Put the hat back on. It's time for him to just bite the bullet and shave that baby. Yeah, and get a uh, full, full bald noggin. Hey, Zach's here. What's up, Zach? You going over to Doggy Jams? No, no. Okay. We hey, can listen from here. Nice shirt, though. I know we're matching. Yeah. That's great. You're gonna say a uh, picture of Shaq. Remember, I took one from the door last time. You could see him yeah. on the stage. All right, uh, we'll take a break. Come back hour two when we return. We will talk some pirate football with Tyler Savage and Chad Stevens. Got that on the way. Pirate Radio Live on a Friday. Back with you after this. I think it's because I'm clumsy. I try not to talk too loud. Maybe it's because I'm Pirate Fest, presented by Optimum, offers a full day of piratical tomfoolery for all ages. This free event includes over 125 vendors, food trucks, art demos, inflatables, and of course, pirates. Join us on Saturday, April 20th, from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for live pirate reenactments, great food, and so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. And then it was Tuesday. <laughs> We're here for the booty. RJ. Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. <laughs> We're going play game. <laughs> pirate Water is here. 21 and older. Please drink responsibly. This is your What's New update brought to you by the new Greenville Auto World. What's new? The new Greenville Auto World has new owners, a state-of-the-art service repair facility that can help you with tires, state inspection, AC repair, and more. Greenville Auto World can work on any type of vehicle and offers great monthly oil change specials. What's new? You making a service appointment now by calling 364-8730. For award-winning service, trust Greenville Auto World Highway 43 across from the Speedway of Bells Fork. Pirates supporting pirates. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. In this new world of having everything delivered to your home or office, why wouldn't you start using Cellular Warehouse for all of your cellular deliveries? Toby Williams and his team are in the business of delivering phones and tablets every day to customers, which enables you to take the hassle out of visiting a store. The best thing about this great service is that it's free. Call Toby Williams today at 252-799-7051. That's 252-799-7051. And let his team make your wireless experience fast and easy. Warehouse, your local U.S. cellular authorized agent. 
Captain Bo Brooks, what's happening at Pirate Waters Outfitters this spring? Well, we have restocked with all new apparel from Marshware and AFCO. We got the new turtle boxes coming in, the River Rock color. And I always suggest that you cook your fish in a smithy, and the new smithy is in as well. We have a fly cave in the back with all you need to catch fish on the fly. And tie your own fly wall where we have all the accessories and products you need to tie your own flies. We are Pirate Water Outfitter on Market Street next to Breaking Bread, home of Camacho Rod Work. Do you ever talk to yourself about where to eat today, and then you hear, More and hot dogs. Then you're thinking, yeah, two hot dogs, chips, and a drink for only six twenty five would be awesome. More and hot dogs. And maybe some homemade lemonade, perhaps a pizza or a sub, and definitely an apple or peach turnover. More and hot dogs. Don't overthink where to eat today. Go to Warren's Hot Dogs in Greenville across from Ron Ayers or in Chacoinity next to the fire station. Warren's Hot Dogs, serving the Pirate Nation since 1991. Go Pirate. Pirates. The icy treat that can't be beat is Sparky Snowballs. From big kids to little kids, Sparky Snowballs has been making smiles happen for over 20 years. If you're not in the mood to chill out with a snowball, Sparky's funnel cakes and fried Oreos are a perfect Sparky-licious treat every time. Are you having an event, party, or fundraiser? Call Sparky's to come on site. Remember to follow Sparky's on Facebook or visit SparkySnowballs.com to see where they'll be next. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Country Mart. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations, in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. You can stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work, down on Main is the perfect spot for dinner and drinks on the patio, and you can join them on Wednesdays for half-priced wings from 4 p.m. to close. Down on Main Street, on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right. I don't know if y'all can hear that booming in the background coming over from across the street at Doggy Jams. So we got Doggy Jams. We got Spring Game. We got Pirate Fest next weekend. Great time to be a part. Great time to be a part and great time to be in Greenville, North Carolina. That it is. All right, let's get to our football interviews. Earlier today, uh, Tyler Savage and uh, Chad Stevens dropped by the Pirate Radio Studios, and uh, those are available to watch in their entirety on YouTube for our radio audience. We'll play them right now, starting with Tyler Savage, ECU tight end. Tyler Savage joining us in the Pirate Radio Studios, getting ready for Saturday spring game. Tyler, welcome in. Thank Doing you, all right, man? Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to Saturday? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, your name has come up a lot, man. I, I talked to you after the uh, scrimmage briefly or asked you about it uh, last Saturday, but uh, uh, Caden Hauser, the quarterbacks have brought your name up, some defensive guys as well. So I'll ask you again, Tyler, what, what have you been doing to kind of make people notice you uh, this spring? Yes, sir. Um, so like I said earlier when we talked past the scrimmage, I think I just, just trusted my training. And uh, with Coach Baker and the whole new coaching staff coming in and instilling that we're playing fast and we're going, we're going to make plays. And this offense is based around the tight ends to yeah. you know, be in position to go make plays for us, not only ourselves, but other people on this team. So just knowing that and having that in the back of our heads uh, allows me to just do what I do best. I'm uh, I'm like a lot of people, big Donnie Kirkpatrick fan. Just knowing him throughout the years, uh, just a great guy. But it certainly a, a change was needed on offense. So, what was it like going from uh, from DK to John David Baker and uh, him coming in and kind of putting his offense in? So we so we first got uh, instilled to the new offense during Matt drills. Uh, we had half Matt drills where we're out there doing drills with Coach Big John. And then half of it was that, and then half of it was just instilling the offense because it did take a – it is a process to right. go from the old uh, offensive scheme to this new offensive scheme where we're trying to snap the ball every eight to ten seconds. 
So just going that, and that's about it. Yeah, before you can go out there and make plays, you got to know what you're doing, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, it took you a little while to kind of. How about the the terminology? Is that easy to pick up? Oh or, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. So we'll have so a lot of the terminology now. We went from having like a full sentence type uh, type of terminology to really only just two words, and we just so it got easier. Okay. Line up and what to do based off two, sometimes even one word. So uh, that bass you hear in the background, by the way, is Doggy Jams is setting up. Oh, We're gonna yeah. have Shaq Diesel <laughs> here uh, this afternoon. So it's uh, it's kind of got a big feel weekend with that uh, ECU baseball in town. I think they're sold out for Saturday, uh, right. which should mean a good crowd for you guys. Right, on we Saturday. hope so. It's always a good time getting uh, rowdy and dowdy. Uh, it's a blessing to just go inside, go inside that stadium and just do what we do best as a team collectively. And that crowd noise can can amp things up a little bit. Although I don't know if y'all need that because going to uh, to practice Tuesday, walking in to get the post practice interviews, I thought there was a crowd at y'all's practice as loud as it was. Like uh, Mike Houston talked about the intensity, uh, kind of hinted that it might go too far sometimes. Yeah, but definitely. but that's how it is out there, right? Yeah, we get after it every day. <laughs> Especially full pads, thud. It's really just live every Tuesday. He said that, and and look, I, I'm sure you guys were busting your tail last year, but he, he said he hoped this year the offense could match the defense's intensity. And really, he used the word confidence. And it's hard to have confidence when you're you're struggling. Uh, but it sounds like this spring, you guys have matched it and, and sometimes even up the defense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that was just one of the bigger things that we needed to just come up with an identity on offense. Right. Uh, just having guys that can make plays, having guys that can block, protect the quarterback, Kayton and uh, Jake and Raheem. But uh, just having an identity on offense is one of the bigger things that we needed to go into the spring, and we will carry that into the fall. I know that. Well, let's, uh, everybody wants to know about the quarterbacks, of course, Tyler. So uh, how's everybody doing? Let's start with Kayton. Uh, what's kind of his uh, his strength as a quarterback? I like Kayton because he's just he's confident. He knows yeah. what to do. He teaches me uh, – not only that, not only when he's in, but when he's out, when he's not in, we chop it up and just talk about coverages, talk about reads, and where he's throwing the ball and what time. So I just I've come to uh, love all the quarterbacks because they always do everything really right. I've heard the word confidence with Jake Garcia as well. So how about him? What's uh, what does he do well? Jake com- Jake is confident. Uh, he does. He go- he throws a great ball. He's a leader. He makes sure everyone uh, is held accountable. And he's just an overall team leader. And then I, I asked uh, Chandler, who saw a little bit of the uh, the scrimmage last week, I was like, you see uh, Jake or Caden? He was like, no, but Raheem looked awesome. So, like, he got another guy there, uh, Raheem Jeter. How, how's he coming along? Raheem has been putting in the work ever since uh, winter workouts and Matt drills. He's been doing a great job of uh, – going into this new offense and you know having his identity as a quarterback and taking it onto the field i'm really happy to see what i'm uh you mentioned big john a moment ago yesterday on the whole naylor show uh which you can check out right now youtube uh or wherever you get your podcast uh he and jack powers and drew and caden talked to big john yeah. and uh who doesn't do a lot of interviews <laughs> um but one thing they highlighted and Jack reiterated on on our show yesterday was his ability to teach the individual. And you got all these players, and it seems like it could get overwhelming, but he's able to kind of treat each guy individually. Uh, Can you speak to that, Tyler? Big John. uh, So I knew Big John back at JMU uh, when he was at JMU, and he's always just had that mentor, kind of like a Mm -hmm. big brother type of uh, leadership style that we're going to get this work in. But he he also cares about us very deeply on and off the field, which I – come to love which is a great attribute for a coach to have and knowing that that's in the strength staff uh he instills that culture within all the coaches in the strength staff which is this is it makes coming into the uh, weight room to work out a lot easier and a lot more fun well one thing uh that stood out to me tyler when we talked to you at the uh scrimmage last week is you look like a tight end <laughs> like some you're moving from receiver to tight end you, you wonder about you know bodies and then how do you uh you you've bowled up yes, you sir. look like a tight you feel like a tight oh, end yeah i do <laughs> i do feel like a tight end no, yes, sir. uh and and you've had some some adversity here a, a position change can be a good or a bad thing i'm sure you you look at it as a, a good thing uh but the injuries as well 
well. And I asked you about this last week, but overcoming those, uh, you seem like you got an awesome head on your shoulders. But well, I don't know, were you, you ever doubting yourself or anything yeah. during those times? So that so uh, last year when I had first torn my MCL or when I figured it out that that's what it was, I definitely was down for a couple of days down in the dumps, uh, just trying to just really understand why and like why me yeah but um you know just having that team around me and just going to rehab every day and you know seeing my teammates ball and that's what just helped me uh help me feel better about myself and uh to do it for them to get back and help them out in any uh any shape or way did uh, did Rajay give you any words of encouragement? Oh yeah, Rajay Rajay helped me out a lot. I was talking to him every day about the process of you know with the knee because he had uh, he had an ACL, but you know when when rehab when they were bending my knee to get it to bend, I was looking at Raw like Raw, come on. <laughs> 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 but Man, yeah, I mean he I don't know what he's gonna do after football, but like some kind of motivational speaking yeah. or something like he because we'd be down a- a- about losing the game and he'd come in and kind of hey it's, we're, we're gonna figure it out yeah. and then we'd get down because he's injured and he'd be like hey man i'm, I'm good yeah. like well, i don't know he's got an ability to put a smile on your yeah, face Rob's a leader he yeah. uh he's the life of the team you know he always has he knows what to say in every moment and it's just what it's what makes raw raw <laughs> it's just why greenville loves him so much is why the whole country will know his name and i'm excited for him this year to have a breakout year like i know he can and you know, I'm just happy. So is uh, is he your one of your coaches? Or are you on the gold side? What team are you on? I'm on the gold. You're uh, on gold. Okay. My boy Shane. Shane's the GM. Uh, I like my gold team, man. We got a lot of guys on there that's gonna make plays on the defense, the D line. We got Tay, Eli. The D line is stacked. Yeah. <laughs> so and my boy JD, Sam Dank. Uh, Raheem, oh yeah, it's gonna get crazy. Uh, pretty good to have a tight end as your GM. Maybe oh, you'll yeah. get the ball a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, we need that for sure. Uh, so you'll be working with Garcia. Chad said something. Maybe the quarterbacks will go both sides. Yeah, that's or? what I heard. I heard okay. they'll, they'll uh, probably rotate. All teams. right. Um, talking to Tyler Savage here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Tyler, any uh, tell us about these receivers, man, because we know about Chase so well. Some of the returners are very excited about Chase, but I'm hearing Anthony Smith yep. and Omega and, and some other guys. So who who are some young guys, and, and even Kelly in the tight end yep. room is a new guy. Yep. Uh, who are some new faces that Pirate fans will be excited about? We just got some dogs. We got a lot of dogs, a lot of guys that can go get it. Coach D-Rob uh, is my dog, but he, he got that room right. And uh, uh, we know Ant Keelan. I'm excited for Keelan. He has a he had a uh, really great spring. Chase always. Uh, Ant uh, transferring transferring in from NC State. Uh, he's been showing a lot of great plays. The, the ability to go get it. And also my boy Jari. Uh, I know he hasn't had the kind of the recognition, but Jari's been going out there and making a plays, and I'm excited for him this year as well. Awesome stuff. Uh, looking forward to seeing who's going to make those plays this fall, and maybe we'll get a little sneak peek of it tomorrow inside sure. a Daddy Ficklin Stadium. Uh, our intern, you know him as the long snapper, oh, Alex yeah. Harper, yes, says Rod needs a cut. <laughs> Love 47, though. I think Alex is still mad because... Uh, Rajay said Alex was top five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and we didn't know what that meant. Now we know what that meant. Yeah. So I think Alex is still upset about that. Yeah, Alex be getting, uh, he be getting a, uh, a little bit of joke on. I love, <laughs> I love Alex, though. Uh, Tyler, let's learn a little bit about your uh, background. First of all, where are you from? I'm from Northern Virginia in Lyon County, uh, up there about 40 minutes from Washington, D.C. Okay. So that means you're a big time Commanders fan like uh, me. Nah, I come can't. on, man. <laughs> I can't. I'm an Eagle. I'm an Eagles fan. With Damn. My mom, man. How did that happen? Everybody. So my mom. So my house, uh, in Virginia, we we're split. So my dad and my older brother Trey, they like the Commanders, but my mom, uh, my aunt being from the Jersey area. Okay. That's where I get my Eagles from. My wife is from South Jersey, okay. about 40 minutes from Philly or whatever. Yeah. So she's, uh, yeah, been, oh, yeah, been talking to me during those games. That's interesting, a split family oh, with yeah. uh, Washington and Philly. Yeah, that could gets, get kind of heated. It man. gets crazy. We try to make our way up to a Philly-Washington game every now and then. but uh, Dude, I, I tell you what, I'll never step foot in a Philly stadium wearing oh, a Washington yeah. jersey. Oh, I mean, yeah. You're just asking for <laughs> trouble asking at that point. For 
Um, all right, so y'all, uh, I don't know, you got Super Bowl aspirations with the Eagles? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Every time we step on the field, we're going. I know, man. Y'all got a squad. <laughs> I just hope we can get a quarterback and, yep. and, and look competent out there on the field this year. I think, we're getting, uh, I think y'all trying to get Jaden Daniels. Oh, I hope Drake. so. That's my guy. That's yeah. who I want. Uh, Drake Mays up there. I've heard J.J. McCarthy. Yeah. Uh, so you never know. All, all we know is that the Bears are taking Caleb Williams, and after that, we'll see. Caleb's from the DMV area too, so I hope he goes. Yeah, ah, man. So if he went to uh, Washington, would you root for him then? <laughs> I probably, I might have uh, a little bit of love for him. <laughs> okay, but, okay. You know. All right. So uh, you grew up there. What other sports did you play? So I played. Up? I played basketball in high school. You I got a basketball point, field. Two thousand point score. Nice. And uh, basketball in high school. Uh, other than that, I was I got a lot of texts about playing like goalie for soccer, <laughs> but uh, I was not putting my body on the line for. That, so. Yeah, they could have used your size in the net. So what'd you play like uh, three, four? Oh, yeah, man? I played that three. Okay, it's my four. Really, you there. shooting outside? Oh, yeah. Okay, you know. all right. I like to ask you guys this: if uh, if y'all had a one-on-one competition, football. And basketball. And don't say yourself. Okay. Other than yourself, who would win? <sighs> Rajay swears he can hoop, but he can. Rajay got a little shot on him. Okay. Uh, Camaro, Nash, uh, uh, Dontavious Nash, they swear they can hoop, too. I've seen a little bit of them. So it's a lot of people tell you they can, yeah. but you had not seen it nah, with your nah, own nah. eyes. <laughs> they, uh, we try to join a little intramural team, and I do my scouting there to see what they're talking about, but... Um, not that impressed. So how about your uh, recruitment in high school, and uh, and how'd you end up at East Carolina? So um, I got I was blessed to get recruited by a couple a couple schools in ACC and uh, um, kind of like the CAA. Uh, when Coach Houston and the staff was at JMU, they recruited me. Uh, that was when Coach Dudzik was here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all they made the switch to ECU and. I kind of knew that I was going to follow with Coach Houston and that staff because I really got to grow a bond with them uh, over the course of, you know, recruiting and all that. So uh, when they made the switch to ECU, uh, came here one time and saw how big the stadium was, came to the spring game, uh, saw the crowd around it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is where I got to be. Awesome. And uh, and here you are, uh, and uh, looking forward to a big 2024, and uh, hopefully a fun spring game coming up. I know people are uh, are really excited about it tomorrow to see this new offense. And uh, we kind of talked about the the terminology, the playbook side of it. How about the the tempo? How much uh, did you have to to work on that? Yeah, that tempo was crazy the first couple first couple days of doing it. But uh, like I said before, after the scrimmage, that once you keep going at it, uh, yeah. It gets easier to overcome. I think it was Jake that said the play was coming in, the next play's coming in while the previous play's still going yeah, it on. It can be like <laughs> Raw or Marlon, whoever's running the ball, they can be 50 yards down the field. Everybody's kind of looking back for the next signal. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't think this affects you. It's probably just the quarterbacks on offense, but the new, uh, I guess, speakers in the helmet yeah. and. Uh, and any other kind of changes like that with technology? I, know, I think Coach Houston said y'all will have the tablets on the yeah, sidelines, yes, maybe. Sir. So other than the, uh, the tablets, I'm very interested, like like you said, about the heads, uh, the microphones, and the helmets. Yeah. I would just want to see how that's going to be. But that's as far as technology wise, that's about as far as I know. But you yeah. know, technology is always advancing, right? Like, whether in the game of football or anywhere else. So, so uh, how about once your football career is over? We hope like 20 years from now. Uh, what uh, what you going to be doing? What what are you uh, doing in school? Uh, so I'm about to graduate in May. Congratulations. Um, getting my uh, a degree in interpersonal communications and organi- organizational communications. Uh, after that, I'm going to go to grad school and get my MBA with a concentration in sports management. Awesome. Uh, so hopefully uh, just make a lot of money and come back and <laughs> give it back. <laughs> that's, that's a great attitude. And uh, you seem very comfortable doing this, Tyler. So uh, uh, what, what do you have a dream job outside of being in the NFL? Uh, I think a dream job would just uh, be... If I had to put it into words, it'd just be a way to give back. Okay. Uh, you know, I've always said I want to be a college football coach, a big-time college football coach with a Jimbo Fisher contract with <laughs> million dollars. Yes, sir. Not to just do anything, but other than that, just find a way to give back to the community that helped, 
that helped me out a lot growing up. That's fantastic. So you, uh, you do want to stay in sports one yes, way sir. or the other. Yes, sir. How about uh, looking at, of course, Keaton uh, on the NFL yep. Sundays, but now you got uh, Isaiah Winstead scoring yep. uh, and yeah. uh, Tyler Sneed winning yep. a great cup. So a lot of options for a football player. You keeping your options open oh, as yes, far sir. as that goes? Yes, sir. I'm keeping them. Uh, my mom always taught me to just keep my eyes open and my eyes wide and, yeah. you know, just keep your options open. All right, uh, Tyler, what do you like to do when you're not practicing uh, or studying? When I'm not practicing or studying, I like to play the game. My favorite game is Fortnite. Okay. I might be a kid for that, but I love Fortnite. (laughs) I like to cook. Uh, My roommate Shane, tight end. Shane, uh, we... uh, we uh, throw it down in my apartment. Dude, I, that's something I picked up last year. I've been uh, cooking more, and I've really enjoyed it. So what are your, uh, if we were on a cooking show, and we said, Tyler, we need your specialty dish. Oh, yeah. That's what you that, got? That Cajun shrimp Alfredo. Man. That's my favorite. But Shane, uh, Shane's helped Man. me out a lot, just keep, keeping my eyes wide and, you know, trying new things. But if you really want some advice, I'd go to Shane. For sure. Okay. All right. Next time I interview him, I'm gonna ask him about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I know what I'm having for dinner yeah. tonight. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try your recipe. Sure. Sure. That'll be good. All right. Uh, as far as video games go, I I got a new system just so I can get the college football game yep. to relive my oh, childhood. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So I've been playing a little MLB the Show and and mess like that. But I I'm too old. I feel like <laughs> it's weird. Like the older you get, the worse you get at video games. Okay. Uh, so you need to stick with it, I guess. But how excited are you? Are you? Did you opt in to oh, the yeah, college I football? Opt in. I opted in. It was a, uh, you know, growing up and playing the NCAA fourteen, the yeah. Heisman edition, and my favorite thing to do on that game was Road to Glory. Yeah, just making these all time athletes and you know getting recruited by all these schools and it just kind of you know seeing that in Road to Glory and the game just helped me create an inspiration of doing that in real life. I can't wait to to. Till you guys see your numbers and y'all are trash talking each other about them. <laughs> so I don't know if you if you could talk to EA Sports and they said, "All right, Tyler, what's your your best attribute? What would it be?" Because you've got you know speed, catching, agility, I said strength, catching, ca- hands. Say, oh yeah, that right. got to be a ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, feed savage uh, on the football field. <laughs> Uh, great last name too. You a, oh, yeah. you a wrestling fan? The Macho Man uh, Randy Savage. That was before your time. <laughs> yeah, but it was before my time. Did you ever watch? I watched some WWE now and then. Yeah, but I know it's not like anything how it was back then. I tell you what, they tried uh, on WrestleMania on Sunday because they had The Rock, they had Undertaker, they had Cena, they had brought all the greats out. So, uh, Sir, I saw that. But, uh, yeah, that was fun stuff. All right, uh, so final thoughts, Tyler, heading into Saturday. What, uh, I don't know, what, what do you want to see from your offense? What kind of show would you like to put on for the fans on Saturday? Just what we've been doing all spring when no one's been watching. Yeah. You know, we've we really been getting after it. Uh, we've really been getting after it. Every day in spring, you know, with team uh, with team run and inside run and third down, is we get after it. Uh, so just ultimately, ultimately, just putting on a show for the fans and doing what we do, you know, with a crowd watching, like I know we can do. Well, uh, Tyler, man, it's been great to talk to you. We wish you the best of luck on the field, but also off the field. You, I think uh, you seem like a great young man. I think you're going to do great things. So uh, keep up the good work, man, and uh, we'll see you out there Saturday. Sure, thank you for having me. Go Pirates. There is Pirate tight end Tyler Savage joining us uh, earlier today inside the Pirate Radio studios. When we return, we'll hear from one of his teammates, Chad Stevens, who uh, also dropped by the Pirate Radio studios earlier on this Friday. Got that interview on the way when we return. Busy Friday show. They're jamming at Doggy Jams, and uh, we are jamming here in the Pirate Radio studios. Back with you after this. You want a sub freshly sliced to order? You go to Jersey Mike's. You want the perfect radio idea? You go to me. Like this. I'm a lone ninja warrior. By night, I glide unseen across the rooftops, watching my enemies from the shadows. By day, I go to Jersey Mike's, watching someone freshly slice my sub. My blade is called Shadow. His blade is a Berserber brand meat slicer. Clearly, I have much to learn about this land. Freshly sliced just for you. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. 
Golden Ticket Cinemas is Greenville's newest movie theater and is now open in the Greenville Grand location on Greenville Boulevard near Cracker Barrel. Experience the ultimate movie magic with their Elite Experience. The Elite Theater has the largest screen in Greenville, state-of-the-art 4K laser projection, immersive Dolby Outmost sound, and heated luxury recliners. And coming soon, Eastern North Carolina's only IMAX theater. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show in style with luxurious amenities and top-notch service at Golden Ticket Cinemas. Save a load on a new John Deere compact utility tractor and loader from Quality Equipment. It's never been easier to get the best brand on the market at an unbeatable cash price or with great financing at our lowest ever monthly payment. Now is the time to get that tractor package you've been dreaming of to get your next job done right. Stop by one of our 36 locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia or visit us online at qualityequip.com. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is proud ECU graduate and former baseball player Brandon Manning inviting you to join my team at Farm Bureau Insurance. Right now is a good time to review your coverage with a local trusted agent like me. I will make myself available before or after business hours, and my clients always have my cell phone number if they need anything. From home, auto, or life, give me a call today and let's talk about your insurance coverage and about the Pirates. Call 531-1812 and go Pirates! Spring is in the air at your CBD store. Get 10% off any purchase. Just mention the code SPRING. If you struggle with sleep, anxiety, or pain, their CBD wellness specialist can help. Your CBD store's unique boutique also carries THCA flower and pre-rolls, Delta gummies, pet products, gifts, jewelry, and more. Call ahead for pickup at 999-5127. So spring on over to your CBD store today. Open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 7. Your CBD store, 420 East Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Go Pirates! This is Brian Harris with 360 Golf Carts, Pitt County's go-to shop for all things golf carts. We have easy go, club car, and utility carts to choose from. Whether it's for the beach, riding around the neighborhood, or working in the yard, 360 Golf Carts has the perfect ride for you. If you have issues with your current cart, take it by my shop for an expert's diagnosis. From parts to sales to service, we have you covered. We will even deliver right to you. So come see me, Brian Harris, on Highway 43, just past D.H. Conley High School. 360 Golf Carts, Pirates supporting Pirates. Yard Gnomes Baseball is here. The Greenville Yard Gnomes offer summer fun with your family and friends at an affordable price. Catch every game at historic Guy Smith Stadium and enjoy great food from area food trucks, cold beverages, and exciting baseball action. Single game tickets start as low as $10 and mini plans as low as $48. Visit YardGnomesBaseball.com to get your tickets and Yard Gnomes swag. Come out and hang with your gnomies this summer with the Greenville Yard Gnomes. Seared Shop House, Greenville's go-to restaurant for premium scratch-made entrees paired with an impressive selection of wines and cocktails. Seared Shop House, whether you're celebrating an anniversary, birthday, a special night out, or just want to have the best meal in town, come see why Seared is the place where great atmosphere and great food collide. Seared is now open for lunch Monday through Friday, and be sure to stop in for the best brunch in town Saturday and Sunday. They also offer pickup and delivery. Head to SeardShopHouse.com for online line ordering. This is Dixon Williams from ECU Baseball and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Country Mart. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations, in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. UBE has been an ECU tradition for over 50 years. You can shop online anytime at piratewear.com. UBE has the biggest and best selection of ECU sportswear and accessories for pirates of all ages. Every day is game day at UBE. And Bud Light reminds pirate fans to always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live, talking spring football. 
And I uh, heard from Tyler Savage a moment ago. We'll hear from a guy on the defensive side now, Chad Stevens. Looking forward to a big year this year, uh, but unfortunately will not be given in the go in the spring game. Uh, and he'll tell you why during this interview. Had a chance to catch up with Chad earlier today. And let's hear it right now. Talking some Pirate football, getting ready for the spring game coming up on Saturday. And Chad Stevens, Pirate defensive lineman, joining us here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Chad, appreciate you coming down. How you doing, man? Appreciate you for having me. Yes, sir. And uh, looking forward to Saturday. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to wait a little while longer to see you on the field, right? So uh, tell folks uh, what you've been going through. Uh, Just a little bit of a break in my middle finger. So just a little setback. Nothing crazy. Um, I should be healthy within the next couple weeks here. Now what? So with that keeping you out of the the football, what have you been able to do? You still been able to work out and stay in shape, things like that? Uh, not so much weights. Uh, I've been running a lot. So when the guys are out practicing, um, I'm there running around the fields, uh, just trying to stay engaged as much as possible and help those younger guys out. We've talked to guys like Rajay and, and others who have been injured, but have still been able to to get something from it. And so taking a step back, kind of looking at it. Uh, what have you gained, do you think, maybe mentally, maybe as far as uh, getting the playbook? I don't know. What, what have you been able to, to still kind of stay sharp at, even though you haven't been on the field? Uh, really just the knowledge of the whole defense and how each piece fits. Um, I play DN, so I kind of know what the D-line is supposed to do. But now sitting back, I get a chance to see where the linebacker is supposed to fit, the safeties fit, the corners, how they play. So really that aspect of it. So uh, folks are excited to see this new look East Carolina offense with John David Baker coming in, new quarterbacks, a lot of new personnel. Um, how fast is it, Chad? You, you've kind of seen it up close and personal. We're hearing about tempo and speed and pace. Uh, How does it look? Yeah, it's definitely interesting. It gets fast. Um, the key for us on defense is that first down. Uh, they like to run screens and stuff on first down to get the ball moving. And once they get moving, they're hard to stop. So definitely something teams in our conference will will have troubles uh, keeping up with. Chad Stevens joining us inside the Pirate Radio Studio. Spring game coming up Saturday at 1 o'clock. And Chad, were you responsible uh, for for picking these teams or or at least had a say in it? Tell us about that. Yeah, me and Raji are the coaches for the purple team, so go purple. And then uh, Shane and Siobhan are the captains for the gold team. All right, and uh, how do you think you guys did? What kind of of team y'all got? I think we did great, man. We got a Good uh, front offensive line uh, set by Dustin Hall. So got a veteran leader in that aspect of it. Uh, we picked up Hauser as our quarterback. Uh, Marlon Gunn as our running back with a couple pieces on the outside to help. And uh, we got our defense led by Zakai and Mike in the middle. So I think we'll be straight. Hearing a lot of good things about uh, Zakai this spring yeah. and him uh, stepping up. And, of course, uh, Mike, we've seen him make a lot of plays on the field. But Jack Powers, even uh, when we talked to him on Thursday, said if you look late in the year last year at Zakai and, and uh, said he was an impact guy out there. So how excited are you for him and uh, and some of the other guys out there? Yeah, man, Zakai, um, he's kind of dealt with a little bit of injuries um, coming into college. But he's always been one of those guys who's been a, uh, receptive to learning and, you know, um, He's a hard worker, and last year when he got in, he made plays when he was supposed to make them. So, I mean, that's all you can ask for, and this year he's really getting his shot at being the guy for us, um, and he's excelled in that role. Uh, he's a leader. Dude's listening to him. He's making plays, as well as Mike. Uh, Mike played a lot last year. He yeah. made a ton of plays, a ton of tackles. So he's looking to have a – I think this is the last year, so I know he's looking to have a, a pretty big year too. A lot of returners on that D-line, uh, that, that especially a defensive tackle, and that is the strength, I think, not only of the defense, but probably this East Carolina team. But uh, Big Tay, uh, Surad, uh, Elijah, uh, that is a, that's a group that you're really going to count on this year, right? Yeah, that's a group. Um, like you said, they've, they've seen it all. They've done it all. Those dudes are tighter than anybody on the team. Um, I think I can speak as... They're, they're a room, the D-tackles are a room, but just us as a whole, the whole D-line, I feel like we're tighter than, than anybody on the team just because we've been there longer than pretty much anybody on the team. Um, so those are some of the dudes you know you'll be able to count on uh, late in the season. Talking to Chad Stevens, uh, if you got a question or comment, you can get it in Facebook Live or YouTube Live. Uh, we got uh, Dainty on, on Facebook. Um, says, let's go, Chad. Amazing player. Yeah, that's all right. hey, <laughs> and uh, and then we got Cody on YouTube said the Mets spanked the Braves yesterday. Hey, let's save that for 3 o'clock. We're with Chad Stevens. Yeah. He don't care about the Braves losing yesterday. I do. He doesn't. Uh, Chad is a fan. Uh, 
I know at least the uh, NFL team, you're a Steelers fan, right? Yeah, big Steelers fan, man. Hopefully we can have a good year this year. Uh, new new QB situation for them, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how guys. Russ looks. I'll put Fields out there first, but... We'll see how Russell looks. He won a chip before, so hopefully he can get us to another one. Do you uh, follow any other teams, baseball, NBA, anything? Oh, I'm a big NBA fan. I kind of just – I'm a LeBron fan, so I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a big Lakers dude right now. But I like uh, – I'm a Jokic dude. I'm a Luka dude too, so I, I love watching them play. I feel like the new era – I don't know when this started. Maybe it's always been going on, but follow players almost more than teams. I wish I did that because I'm a Hornets fan, so yeah. I ain't got nothing to watch right now. Yeah. But uh, – um, you mentioned LeBron. The Hornets are going to have a high pick. How about they draft Bronny and then bring LeBron over? Mm. <laughs> no. Is Jordan still – he still has to say so in the Hornets, right? Or did he give that up? I think he's out yeah. pretty much. So, yeah. so maybe. But I don't, <laughs> I don't know about Bronny, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hit the portal. Hey, uh, talking to uh, to Chad Stevens here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Chad, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, you said you were from Greensboro, right? You grew up in Greensboro? Yeah, I grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, I went to Southeast Gilbert High School where I played under two head coaches, Coach Fritz and uh, Coach Tinsley, who's now at, now at Mallard Creek. Um, I played running back and linebacker, a little bit of like a tight end slot. A little bit of everything. So you got the ball in your hands some? You, yeah. you missed that at all? Yeah, I did <laughs> yeah. a lot. A lot. <laughs> you ever talk to coach and say, hey, look, man, you need a yard or two? A package, man. I yeah. want to at least be in there on a lead blocking package or something. Me and Rob talked about it for a couple years now, so maybe this year we'll make it happen. This year's the year. Did you play any other sports in high school? Uh, I did a little bit of track, but that's about it. Yeah? Yeah. Who, uh, any other options uh, or teams you were looking at coming out of high school and before picking East Carolina? Uh, yeah, I had a, a good amount of offers, um, but when I came to visit ECU, it just felt felt a little different. Um, back where I'm from, everybody's big on ECU or app, okay. uh, so I kind of fell in love with the fact of you know going somewhere that's not too far from home. That's a football town, so that's why I picked ECU. So you uh, you knew about East Carolina before yeah, I'm yeah. coming here. Okay, great, uh, Chad. You've seen some uh, some ups and some downs, uh, but man, the last year I've talked to you know talking to Jack Powers, talking to Jeremy Lewis, uh, the guys on the defensive side of the ball. I heard the same message: control what you can control, and and you guys controlled uh, last year. Y'all were fantastic. Um, how did it not? kind of boil over in the locker room because uh, I think, again, it says a lot about the coaches, says a lot about you guys that you were able to kind of keep things together despite having the year yet. Uh, yeah, I think it starts from the top down. Uh, Coach Houston would tell us after every game that uh, we lost or won to keep the main thing, the main thing to keep keep close because uh, we're all we got. Um, Coach Harrell preached that. He still preaches that. Uh, he breaks every meeting by saying uh, keep it close. So that's what we uh, focused on last year, and we'll continue to focus on this year. Yeah, a lot of continuity on that defensive side when it comes to returners and also the coaches. So how about another year playing uh, under Blake Harrell? What do you like about Coach Harrell and, and what he does defensively? Uh, Coach Harrell is a competitor, so I love that. Um, he sends, sends it from everywhere. <laughs> uh, he knows his defense. He can tell you a play from last year, a random play from last year, and how we got beat on it and – you could just tell little stuff bothers him. He's a perfectionist, so I, I love playing for Coach Harrell. Um, he's a dude who cares about his his uh, players, and he do anything for us, so I, I really love Coach Harrell. Chad Stevens joining us. Uh, you won't see him on the field making plays tomorrow, but you certainly will uh, this fall. And how about beyond that, Chad? You hoping to keep this football thing going after ECU? Yes, sir. I look on having another uh, pretty good year this year, so I won't want to take football as far as it'll take me for sure absolutely and then you've got the nfl out there you got like tyler sneed winning a great cup in canada you got holton and isaiah and noah uh, a lot of a lot of options out there you kind of keeping your options open yes, as far sir, as pro for ball sure. for sure uh good stuff how about uh as far as the classroom chad what's your uh your major so i graduated last year with a degree in business management Congratulations. And, um this year i'm working on a degree in political science so hopefully i can finish that up in december and get that degree as well awesome stuff yeah, yeah. and uh part of being that that student athlete chad you got your uh your, your cash from ea sports yet are you in the uh the college football yeah, I'm, game? In, I'm in the game uh, <laughs> i haven't haven't gotten the cash yet uh, i'm more worried about the game heck yeah i think they're supposed to give us a copy of the game so 
whenever I can get that, um, that'll be great because I definitely look forward to seeing uh, seeing how I am on the game. Heck yeah. Overall, I think everybody's focused on that overall right now. I think there was a rumored release date. Did you see that this week? It was uh, July nineteenth. July, yeah, July, not official, but a rumor. So. Uh, man, I, I, I'm I'm looking forward to it just because you know I yeah. grew up on it and stuff. Yeah, forever. And uh, yeah, to have yourself in the game that's pretty cool. What's your? Uh, I was talking about this with with Jake Garcia about like what's his speed rating going to be? What's what do you think your speed rating is going to be? Because I know everybody's going to be mad at their speed, speed rating, rating and think it should be higher, right? Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> fast. I'm not a crazy fast dude. I would say like a. Like a mid eighties. Okay. I like got I like got eighty three overall speed. All right. If that's the I case, I'm good. definitely throwing you in a tight yeah. end or running back. Yeah, I'm gonna go heavy a two way guy. <laughs> I, uh, Chad Stevens joining us here at Pirate Radio Studios. Uh, Chad, who, who are some young guys, maybe freshmen or, or guys that have been here that hadn't seen the field a lot that that have stood out to you this spring? Anybody kind of catch your eye out there? Oh, uh, young guys who haven't seen the field. Um, probably number one would be Zakai. Zakai is, uh, he's had a great spring. Another, uh, not really a, a younger guy, but IBM. Uh, yeah. D- defensive back position, corner position. He's had a great spring. Um, number five, Gavin from Maryland, uh, transfer uh, safety wheel we got. He makes a lot of plays on defense. I feel like he's going to be an exciting player for us. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, um, I'd have to say my brother. My brother, he's been making plays this spring, so um, I'm looking forward to him keeping on making plays, giving us headaches. Uh, another younger guy. Not a younger guy, but a newer guy, I'd say the tight end, uh, Casey from Kelly. Yeah. yeah he, ma- he makes a lot of catches. Uh, when you say your brother, who are you referring to? Uh, my brother Ryan Stevens. Okay. Yeah, he's on the team. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I was unaware of that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta uh, get. So, what, tell us uh, his story. How, what year is he? Uh, he's a freshman this year. Okay. He came in last year. Um, so he was with us the whole season last year. Okay. Uh, he went to Grimsley. Before then, he went to Southeast. Kind of had a bad injury, so he only played one game his junior year. Uh, senior year, he went to Grimsley. Uh, went to states. He got all type of accolades, and he ended up here. Awesome, yeah. We got uh, we got a lot of uh, baseballs had a lot of brother connections over the yeah. years with the Agnoses and the Norbies now, and then f- uh, basketball. RJ's brother mm-hmm. is coming here, and uh, that's pretty cool. What's it like having your brother around? Yeah, it's, it just makes me feel old. <laughs> yeah, that's all. You kind of looking uh, after him or whatever. Yeah, um, we're four years apart, so we never really got a chance to play with each other. That's uh, cool. growing up, so now it's it's different. It just makes me feel a little older. Where's he at, receiver? Yeah, he plays slot. Okay, good deal. Uh, Talking to Chad Stevens here inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Man, it is... uh Kind of got a buzz in the air. We got, I guess, Shaq coming here for doggy jams. Got a yeah, big baseball Charlotte baseball weekend. series and then the spring game. So yeah. kind of one last little uh, taste of a, an ECU football weekend coming up this weekend. And people are excited about it. And I heard ticket sales going good, too, uh, for ECU football, which is good to hear. People are yeah. think, excited to see what you guys are going to have this year. Yeah, Coach Houston uh, mentioned that uh, when he broke it down in the huddle, uh, season ticket sales were – I forgot the number he said, but it was – it was up there. He said it was up there, and people were excited, and they expect that number to grow. So, uh, thank you, Pirate Nation. I appreciate all the support. I think I speak for me and my team. We appreciate everything. Um, and just thank you. We'll talk to uh, Matt Slate today on the show from Team Boneyard and uh, the NIL. It's still somewhat new, uh, Chad. But how have uh, you been able to take advantage of that? And, and how are how are those things going for you guys? Uh, yeah, I have I have a couple deals with uh, Basil's, uh, Anson Belt, um, East Coast Agency. Uh, to those guys, thank you. Um, That's great. I know. I think like you mentioned, Doggy Jams, uh, the owner for Sub Dogs. I'm sorry, I don't know his, Brett, his name, yeah. but he does a ton for us um, with the Crush Vodka and the Team Boneyard edition. I think he gave like pretty much all the money that he's made from that to the NIL yeah. and. ECU Athletics, so just thank you to him and thank you to everybody who contributes to that. That, that makes our life a lot easier. Um, I know it's not something that everybody's accustomed to, but right. we definitely appreciate that, and thank you. Yeah, like, like I said, it's still kind of new. Everybody's trying to get used to it, and yeah. when it's... I don't know, man. It's 
people take advantage of everything, every right. law, every rule, and try to skirt around it. But at the end of the day, uh, to, to give you guys a little bit, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, if there's a, a shirt with a Stevens on name on the back of it and your number, I think you should get a little little piece of that, you yeah. know. But uh, people and and schools find a way to to kind of cheat with it, and that's the part that I don't know. I'm interested to see where this goes years yeah. from now. I You're kind of the, the put a cap on it, eventually. yeah, right. Already getting out of hand. Yeah, uh, Chad. I was walking to do the post practice interviews on uh, Tuesday, and I, I swear I thought there was like a crowd at y'all's practice, but it was just the players like mm-hmm. hooting and hollering after a play. Yeah, and, and Mike Houston said on the record uh, there a lot of intensity. Kind of said off the record. He thought there might be a scrap or two out there. So, so how's how's that back and forth going? He likes the intensity. You don't want it to go too far. But man, I, I heard yeah. it's uh, it's intense out there. Yeah, we definitely bring energy to the practices. That's one thing we don't let. Um, those practices they get they get hot. So I mean, it's two sides of the ball. They're competing, and uh, I speak from the defense side of the ball. We think we we can win every scrimmage situation against those guys, and we want to. We'll see what so Tyler we'll kinda, Savage has to say about that when we yeah, talk to him. We'll kind of let it. Uh, <laughs> we kind of let it known. Um, we talk trash to players, and coaches, but it's all all for fun. Yeah. we're all one team, and it's just making us better. Iron sharpens iron. How much talking do you do on the field on a game day Saturday? You talk to the opponent at all? Yeah, I do a good amount of talking. <laughs> yeah. It kind of motivates you, fires yeah. you up. Yeah, I love it. That's yeah. that's what gets me going. So. I love to talk trash. Makes it fun, no yeah. doubt. All right, Chad. Well, uh, appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Sure, and and you. the finger, uh, you're going to be good to go for September? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll be on the field next month doing stuff. So Good stuff. I'm fine. All right. Well, I uh, wish you the best of luck, man. Can't wait to watch you play this year and uh, keep up the good work on and off the field. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon, man. Cool. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right, there he is, Chad Stevens. Awesome catching up with him and Tyler Savage one day ahead of the spring game. Savage will be making plays on the field. Stevens was uh, a piece of putting that purple team together along with uh, our guy 47, Rajay. So be a fun one coming up Saturday at 1 o'clock. We'll take a timeout, come back, wrap up hour number two of Pirate Radio Live as the crowd continues to file in across the street. What a scene it is over at Doggy James. What a scene. We'll be back with more on Pirate Radio Live after this. Are you ready? Are you ready to get into the groove? I thought so. And you can dance. This is Aaron Williams with New Blue Service Group. Our technicians stand ready to face any challenge that time or the elements may throw at your home. Your home deserves the best, and New Blue is here to help with all of your plumbing, electrical, and HVAC needs. Facing electrical issues due to the elements? We're on it. Plumbing concerns or emergencies? We're ready to fix it. HVAC struggling to keep up? We'll bring the climate back under control. So go to callnublue.com today. Go Pirates! Southern Ease has arrived, Pirate Nation. Whether you savor the bourbon flavor or indulge in other delightful options, Southern Ease gummies are here to elevate your moments. And here's the best part. You can enjoy them with an exclusive discount. Head over to southernease.com now and use the code PIRATE at checkout for a fantastic 25% off your first order. At Southern Ease, you can be living life to your fullest, one sweet moment at a time. Southernease.com. The price is always right at Doug Henry of Greenville. Doug Henry of Greenville is under new management with over 300 vehicles to choose from and brand new inventory arriving daily. Doug Henry is easy to find on the corner of Greenville Boulevard and Memorial Drive and always online at DougHenryGreenville.com. Come on down and purchase the vehicle of your dreams today at Doug Henry of Greenville. Right on the corner, right on the price. Doug Henry of Greenville. Go Pirates! Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh-Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services Partner. You know texting while driving is dangerous. 
That's not new information. Yet most people admit to doing it anyway. Drivers are 23 times more likely to be involved in a car accident while texting. Know the facts and wait to text. The danger is real and it applies to you. Auto Owners Insurance, the no problem people. Information provided by Virginia Tech Transportation Institute. This is Norm Bryant with Town Insurance in Greenville. Call me today at 756-8300. Go Pirates. Familia is your go-to spot for the best Italian dishes around, including pizzas, pastas, salads, and homemade desserts. And now Familia has BOGO specials. That's right. Whether it's dining or takeout, you can get buy one, get one spaghetti and meatballs on Tuesdays, lasagna on Wednesdays, and baked ziti on Thursdays. As always, Familia has their weekly pizza of the week special for just 14 so go ahead and place your order online or call 689-6330 and Familia will have your order ready in their drive through window for pickup. Familia on Fire Tower Road in Winterville near Pitt Community College. Go Pirates! Looking for physical therapy near you? Have you had orthopedic surgery, a work or sports injury, or a medical condition that has limited your day-to-day activities? At ENC Physical Therapy, we strive to provide one-on-one care with a personalized treatment plan with little to no wait times for initial evaluation. ENC Physical Therapy is located in Washington, a convenient 20-minute drive from Greenville. As a patient, you have options and the right to choose where to go. So give ENC Physical Therapy a call today at 252-495-0018. ENC Physical Therapy. Greenville's hometown pizzeria is Cuccinella's. Cuccinella's has two locations with great options for lunch, dinner, takeout, and they now offer catering. Dine in for lunch with a slice, salad, and a drink with a friend, or stop by after work and grab a beer or glass of wine while you wait for your to-go order. The best pizza, grinders, salads, and homemade Italian Italian ice is at Cuccinella's. Cuccinella's Midtown across from Best Buy, downtown across from Sup Dogs, and on Facebook and Instagram. Cuccinella's, serving handcrafted pizza since 1932. Come taste the difference. Pirate Radio. No one can outwork us. I like the way you move. We are the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Country Mart. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations, in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Town Insurance is your premier independent insurance agency from maximizing opportunities to minimizing risk. Town's insurance advisors offer expert professional advice to clients of all sizes. For personal or business insurance questions, call 756-8300 today. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live. I think this show will do some good numbers after the fact, but not necessarily live. Would you say this is the nicest Friday we've had in 2024 so far? No doubt about it. There's that. There's, There's stuff no going doubt on. About it. <clears throat> um, I don't know what's going. Maybe it's Chandler's diet, or I don't know. But Chandler, you seem extra thirsty today. Uh yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I am thirsty, and I am, uh, and I am thirsty. This guy and I am thirsty. Is dying of thirst here in the Pirate Radio Studios, <laughs> looking out the window. I mean, just take a look. <laughs> uh, Shirley, can we hear the the pipes of Alex Harper set up a Fleet Feet rundown for us today? Sure. Hey, Pirate Nation. Be sure you have the best and most comfortable shoes this tailgate season with a stop at Fleet Feet. Locally owned and operated by ECU alum Chris Lunyon. Fleet Feet of Greenville provides solutions through one-on-one services to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Fleet Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Go see them at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Fleet Feet. They run for you. Beautifully done, long snapper. Snapper. Fleet Feet Rundown here on this Friday. Sean, uh, we're getting ready for some football, man. Yes, sir. And uh, I need to know. I need to know. How long we got until we see some football? Well, you only got one day. One day? One day. I would say less than. Less than one day. Less than 24 hours until the... EC Purple Gold Pig Skin Pig Out Purple Gold Game. Uh, however, Brian Bailey does it. But 
once tomorrow's over, once we see the football, once we see this new offense on the field for the first time, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait to see football. Hmm. A long So day. from today, 141 days until we see East Carolina kick off the 2024 campaign against Norfolk State. All that on the David Price Construction Countdown to Kickoff. Oh, Shirley and Zach are wearing their hard hats. The camera shot of that if we can. Oh, we got it. Never mind. Good job, Zach. Uh, Zach has set up our rundown today. He says football time. Zach, uh, I'll go to you. Any player in particular going to be under your microscope tomorrow? Anything you want to see out of the spring game? Uh, Kawan Robinson, the wide receiver. That's been... As it didn't get much last year. What'd you call him? Is that not, how do you say his Kalen? first name? I thought it was Keelan. Keelan, it's only Keelan. one E, so I thought it was Kawan. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's either Key. I think it's Keelan. I've heard the players say Keelan. That makes more sense. Yeah. But yeah, he. I've heard a lot about him, and we didn't see much of him last year, but he was here. Yeah. So I think maybe him and Chase could be one, two. I think that receiver group is the most fascinating especially for tomorrow like who's getting the touches we might not learn everything uh tomorrow but i can't wait to see uh who's what the distribution is going to be like between those guys i want to see what kind of show they can put on with the qbs yeah i want to see some some dbs get embarrassed even if it's our own DBs. I Keelan want to see Robinson. It. Yeah, transfer from Kansas. There you go. All right, uh, good stuff. Number two on the rundown today is uh, Shaq. He's going to be on stage in five minutes, so I thought, why not throw it on there? Oh, is it really about to go down? Uh, that's yeah, what I was about told to by Mark. There. So are those people still in line, or are they in? Well, the line basically is nothing now. So yeah, the line is people walking standing by. standing there and... But I, when the last time I checked, it but there are still people in line, right? Well, a few. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, everybody's pretty much in and ready to go. Yeah, the people you see back behind the line is all just bathrooms, porta potties. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. A lot of them. Looks like a fun time. If it was uh, thirty years ago, I'd be out there ready to roll. Wait, thirty years ago, I'd have been twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not thirty. Let's go twenty. 20 years. Yeah, when I was 12, I went to Doggy Jams. Had a blast. <laughs> Met my future wife. We got divorced when I was 14. <laughs> I lived a life early on. All right, and uh, before we take a time out, our National Day update. National Day update brought to you by your ad could be here. There you go. Call Chandler. Call, Call me. Up. It is National Only Child Day. Any of us only child. I had a sister. You got a bro. Shirley got a sis. And a bro. And a bro. Zach. Sister. All right. Jenny can't say the same thing. She has a brother named John. Actually has, a, I believe, a half-sister. And uh, does Big Dog have a sister or a brother? Does he have a brother? I don't think so. I, I think he's the only he child, brother. A sibling. Okay. I, I believe he has a sister. Delaney is one of four or five. I can't remember. Oh, wow. All girls. How about Aharp? What's he got? I think he's got a little sister. Yeah, a little ah. sister as well. All right. There you go. All right. It is National for Twelves Day on National Twelves Day. For Twelves. The nation will honor a magnificent number that holds significance in several ways. When we buy roses, eggs, and pastries, we purchase them by the dozen. How about that? Okay. Happy Twelve Day to all the 12s out there <laughs> 30 years ago you were 12 jack powers we'll get ready uh we'll celebrate this today national colorado day he's oh, headed wow. there i would love colorado would be on my top five states to visit maybe a cool state it's it's pretty have you been yeah okay i had a friend that just went there for a concert and they said that the the wind there is ridiculous mm. there's a bunch of wind advisories Did they go to red rocks yes I want to see a concert there. I've been to Red Rocks. It was supposed to be there, but it got moved because of the wind advisory. Uh, mm, I'm going to celebrate this one this weekend. It's National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. I wish I could. Our apartment gave out grilled cheeses today. My apartment, sorry. How's that work? They were in the lobby, making them on flat little skillet things, like the presses. And just passed them out to everybody? Anybody. Like, it was for doggy jams. Yeah. And the, people walking by, they just handed them out. Do you eat one? No, I didn't know about it. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. I went out the back door. Uh, Jamie says, Chan is looking over there long, longly. Let the man go over there. I'm fine if Chandler goes over there. I'm not. I don't have a ticket. 
It costs forty buckaroos for a ticket. We just had a man in here uh, offer sh- you a ticket. I should have. Um, I should have kept my ticket because when I was a senior at East Carolina way back in the day, I bought a ticket for the first Shaq concert here for Doggy Jams, mm-hmm. and it never happened. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can't, to somebody back. asked me the other day, did you get refunded? I have no idea. I can't remember if I did or not. If I didn't, I wouldn't know. But I was supposed to go, and then he finally showed up. And what was I doing? I was right here mm. on this radio show with you lovely, lovely people, not you, Zach. He's a hard-working man. I'm a hard, hard-working man. Let's take a break. We'll come back. DJ Captain Morgan Ehlers will join us. Has he been called for Doggy James? Like if Shaq couldn't make it, would they bring in Morgan? Uh, sure. I think Morgan did play basketball. DJ Captain Morgan. We'll uh, take us a break as Bryson DeChambeau is playing some really good golf. Oh, that is a man. beautiful beauty. Shot it's a beauty. To set him up for a paw, he has a one shot lead over Scotty Scheffler. Scheffler putting here for birdie and co lead, and he got he it. He got it. We got two at the top of the leaderboard Scotty Sheff and Bryson DeChambeau at seven under par on the Buccaneer Music Hall leaderboard presented by the Buck. The Buck. Uh, we are back, hour three, after this. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time, it's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal, to make sure you leave a happy customer. And then it was two seagulls! <laughs> We're here for the booty. RJ! Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. We're going play game! Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. Ahoy, Pirates! It's Lindsey Gray with Carolina Caliber. Winter ship has sailed and it's time to spring into turkey season. Stop by, mention this ad, and we will give you a set of Primo's Pattern Turkey Targets to help you get sighted in. Speaking of spring, we're cleaning house with deals you can't miss. Tune in weekly for details, and don't forget, we've got the largest selection of firearms and accessories in Eastern NC, and over 60 years of experience in helping meet your firearm needs. Shop online or come see us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. It's a time-honored tradition. <laughs> Want a great lunch with quick service? Huckleburger. Need a place to dine out with the family tonight? Huckleburger. The fastest full-service restaurant in town. Huckleburger. Huckleburger is committed to three core values. Highest level of customer service, high-quality delicious food, and lightning speed. The Huckleburger menu features delicious burgers, cheesesteaks, chicken sandwiches, black bean burgers, salads, and much more. Huckleburger in Greenville near Lowe's on Memorial Drive and off of 15th Street near the movie theater in Washington. Huckleburger. Delicious, fast, fresh, and and friendly. Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith is F3 and is changing lives of men right here in your community. Just listen. I am Brandon Tate, the hot spot, 52 years old. F3, man, it will absolutely change your life. As you get older, those male relationships kind of fall away and you can go and work out with some guys and develop some pretty strong relationships with like-minded guys. The other cool thing about it is it starts at 530 in the morning, so it's not going to interrupt your time with your family or your work and you start the day off, man. F3ENC.com. You don't have to be great to get started but you have to get started if you want to be great your first stop for shopping is at shimmer boutique this is ashley from shimmer we are fully stocked with the latest apparel shoes and accessories and more if you need gift ideas or some shopping therapy for yourself stop by today looking for the hottest shoes on the market shimmer has the biggest selection of hey dudes anywhere shimmer has the newest yeti products and colors Want this year's most popular bag? Shimmer has a great selection of all your bog bag needs and accessories. Shimmer in Greenville, Winterville, and Jacksonville. 
here today with Christy Conway from ENC Pirate Realty and exciting news about your new partnership with Allen Tate Realtors. We are excited to be a partner with Allen Tate Realtors. We felt that being a part of the Allen Tate family would bring with it the technology, marketing, and referral capabilities our agents need to make their real estate business more successful and allow us to serve our clients better. Please visit us at our office on Fire Tower Road in Greenville or online at encpiratrealty.com. And remember, at ENC Pirate Realty, Allen Tate, we close the deal or someone walks the plank. Go Pirates! Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go. Or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Atavola, pirates supporting pirates. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Tiebreakers is open every day at 11 a.m. and is the best place to watch your favorite sports while enjoying the best wings in town, along with sandwiches, appetizers, cold beer, and more. Follow Tiebreakers on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Tiebreakers in Greenville at Bell's Fork in downtown Winterville on Railroad Street and on Greenville Boulevard in the old Pizza Inn location. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live on a Friday. Mark Greenhouse will join us to talk some Masters coming up. Later on this hour, Brian North as well as we roll on. Morgan Ayler is joining us on the Pirate Radio Live line. Morgan, how you doing, buddy? Oh. He's not there because he's talking to Shirley. But now, Morgan Ayler joins us on the Pirate Radio Live line. Morgan, how you doing, buddy? I am doing fantastic. Morgan, uh, you ever ate at uh, Angus Grill? Good. I am doing so good. I I feel like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> you ever ate an Angus Grill before, Morgan? I, I have. I have. Would you like to eat there for free for a lot of <laughs> meals? I think I am. How about the blunder? Morgan, you got to go back if you didn't hear it. Um, Shirley on Monday said she had won the brackets it's mathematically over she knocked off ellerby and big dog and uh it was all hers but then uh oh there was one man she forgot about one man hiding in the weeds which morgan's a big guy you'd think you would see them over there hiding in the weeds but no morgan had the correct championship and the correct winner and you are once again morgan at least now two-time maybe more but at least a two-time champion in our brackets Two time. Two time. Two time, time champion. <laughs> Congratulations, Moore. Woo! <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, some wrestling, I know you, uh, I, when we talk wrestling, you always bring up that you listen to the, the show, the podcast with, uh, with Bubba Ray. Did you see Bubba Ray at WrestleMania last weekend? Yeah, he was a uh, referee, special guest referee for a uh, six man tag. And yeah, it was pretty cool. I don't care how old I am. Anytime I hear the crowd channel on Get the Tables, I'll, I'll do a pop. That, that was good stuff. Devon, get the tables. <laughs> get the tables. Uh, good stuff. Morgan, how was your quick trip to St. Louis to see some Arlington Renegades football last week? It was a lot of fun. It was very fast. I think I left Greenville at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning and got back at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. So I'll tell you something. Uh, literally got there and I'm. They think a lot of their Ubers in St. Louis. I will tell you, if you ever travel there, uh, I'm, the hotel I was at to the, the dome there downtown was about 13, 14 miles. I looked for Uber, 
And uh, granted, they had a baseball game that day, they had a soccer game that day, and then they had the football game that night. Man. So Uber was like close to a hundred bucks, one way. Wow. Okay. Lyft was thirty. So I'm like, okay, I took Lyft. After the game, Uber was close to 120. Lyft was about 65. <laughs> so, Yikes. To shop around. That's yeah. What I found out. I uh, got to uh, get on the field. Morgan saw some of the pictures. Pretty cool to to see your boy Holt, but also uh, some of his buddies, Noah Henderson, Isaiah Winstead, and uh, I believe Arlington uh, lost the game. We talked to Holt earlier this week, said he's uh, hopefully getting closer to seeing the field, but sounds like he and the guys are, are really enjoying it right now in the UFL. Yeah, they are. They play uh, tomorrow, I think, at 1 o'clock on, uh, I believe it's ESPN. They play the D.C. team. It's going to be a good matchup. And, uh, you know, it's really really cool because, you know, St. Louis, the Dome in St. Louis seats like 85,000 people. It was built uh, specifically for the St. Louis Rams when they were there, now the L.A. Rams. And, of course, they went back to L.A. And uh, the fans there in St. Louis were awesome. I mean, they they dress up, you know, they're, they're thinking like, we've got the ARG for football. They've got caca is what they call it. <laughs> the Battle Hawks, caca. <laughs> they got t-shirts and then their PA guy yells caca. They've got sound effects of a caca. So, uh, the Battle Hawk caca, but they were, I mean, they were into the game. Very nice, very friendly, very passionate about football and, uh, really a cool place to go. That's pretty neat. Morgan Ayler is joining us, uh, voice of Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Morgan, you're going to be at the spring game Saturday? I will be up in the press box calling the game Saturday. Awesome. Spring, spring football games always kind of wonky and, you know, depend, from, a, from a PA standpoint, not structured like it is during the, the regular season. And, you know, sometimes you got a guy playing on one team and then he switches over to the other. Who's that guy? I don't have it on that team. Oh, they just changed jerseys. Okay. Thank you for telling us. We appreciate it. Yeah, it does. A lot of fun. And uh, it sounds like both quarterbacks may go back and forth uh, with both teams. But Mike Houston, talking to him earlier this week, he, he won't, it's going to be four quarters. They're going to have a running clock, but it'll be a, a stop clock uh, within two minutes of each half. It sounds like they want to make it look like a real football game tomorrow. And also, he wants to show the fans, you know, an offense that they can get behind, get excited about, so they'll buy some tickets and show up this fall. So I am expecting, uh, hopefully, to see at least a few fireworks tomorrow. I, I think you will. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, you know mystery going into the spring game. I think I think you'll see a lot of different wrinkles to the offense coming up into the fall. You know, when they get ready for the actual games in the season. But I really believe that tomorrow you'll see maybe 40, 50% of the base offense, the up-tempo type thing. And uh, I think it's going to be fun to watch and, and fun to uh, get a little bit of excitement back for Pirate football going into the summer, into the fall. And it's going to be a really good competition between uh, Jay Garcia and, uh, you know, Caden Hauser. I think that's going to be a, a really good battle, and hopefully one of the two can st- make some strides tomorrow. But if not, it's going to be a battle all the way into the fall, and, you know, I, I think you'd rather have a, a leader going into the summer and the fall, but I don't know if that will that'll happen. Yeah, Mike Houston said uh, the, the winner will be determined uh, whenever that happens. And right now, it sounds like it's too close to call, and uh, and that's exciting because from the players we talked to, uh, it sounds like they're both playing pretty well out there at the quarterback position. Morgan Ayler's joining us. Uh, great sports weekend, Morgan. You also got ECU baseball at home. You got the Masters going on as well. So what are you, uh, outside of football, what are you paying the closest attention to this weekend? Well, the the sound is down right now. I'm watching the Masters. Scotty Scheffler's on the tee box. He's on number 11 as we speak, getting ready to, to go around uh, the amen corner holes right now. He's currently a par four, 520 yards. He hits his shot, and it's right down the middle. Scotty Scheffler. Now coming up is Alexander Shoffley. Alexander Shoffley, as he likes to be called. What a shot. Are you taking over for Vern Lundquist? Is this your uh, audition, Morgan? I tell you, I actually was driving around today and listening to uh, Masters Radio. <laughs> Serious. You know, you, you, broadcasting a game is, you know, the football game, basketball game, whether it's PA or, or play-by-play, that's one thing. Doing play-by-play for golf, I mean, that's pretty hard. You know, I mean, it's. I guess you get into the rhythm of it, you figure it out after a while, but 
I mean, how do you do play by play for golf? Oh, his shoes untied. He doesn't know it. He's getting ready to swing. Oh my God, he fell on the microphone. He's dead. I mean, you know, how do you do that? Yeah, it's a, it's a skill, <laughs> definitely. Morgan Ayler's joining us on the Pirate Radio Live Line. Well, Morgan, congratulations. King of the Brackets once again. Uh, come pick Shirley, up your gift card. Shirley, hit my music. Shirley, hit my music. <laughs> Poor Shirley. Man. Can you buy Shirley some fries or something? Actually, no. She's on a diet, so you can't. Eat her a salad or something with that gift card. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of Shirley. Yeah. She, she, she's awesome. All right. All right, Morgan, good to chat with you, buddy. Have a good weekend. We'll see you tomorrow at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. We'll see you guys. Have a great weekend. All right. At Town Bank Terror. What are you doing, Chandler? Ball was going right, so just heads up. All right, it's in the middle of the fairway. That was Roy McElroy. It's in the middle of the fairway. It's to the right, though. Okay, all right. Just a heads up. Just a heads up. I wonder where four came from. Four! Do you know? As a golf guy? Forehead. Uh, they're going to hit you in the forehead with the golf ball. Ah, that, I, that's I, not true, but no. I like your quick thinking there. That was just whatever I had. Shaq is on stage. Oh, the, my God. The first song he played, P.D. Pablo raised up. Ah, good call. Good call. All right, let's take a break. Chandler might have our answer when we return. We got to get a Mark Greenhill golf shot. Scottish. <laughs> I'm going to peek out and see if I can see Shaq on the stage. I can hear the He's feel the vibration. Pretty easy to see. <laughs> Large feller, that Shaq. Back with more Friday edition Pirate Radio Live after this. Pest Tech wants to thank Pirate Nation for voting them the number one pest control company in eastern North Carolina. Pest Tech is a full-service pest control company, offering a complete range of indoor and outdoor pest management and extermination services. Your experience is the Pest Tech guarantee, with a promise to deliver you results while keeping you, your family, and the environment safe. Call the best of the best to get rid of your pests. 353-4760. Pest Tech, the official pest control company of Pirate Radio. Pirate Fest, presented by Optimum, offers a full day of piratical tomfoolery for all ages. This free event includes over 125 vendors, food trucks, art demos, inflatables, and of course, pirates. Join us on Saturday, April 20th, from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for live pirate reenactments, great food, and so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. It's going to be our the best burgers around everyone loves a thick juicy and fresh burger tiebreakers does real burgers better than anybody and don't forget about the cheese sticks fresh salads and more so don't just go to any burger themed restaurant chain it's time to break the chain and eat local tiebreakers burgers and sports at its best go park Home runs and high fives always go better with a Bud Light. Bud Light is America's favorite light beer and the official beer of the ECU Pirates. Whether you're headed to the ballpark, the jungle, or the couch, be sure to pick up and order some Bud Light and enjoy the ball game. Bud Light is always easy to drink and easy to enjoy. And remember, Pirate Nation, stay in the game and please drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Go Pirates! It's time to save at Beauty Bar Medispa's Spring Extravaganza, April 8th through the 12th. Mark your calendar, but don't wait for the sale. Schedule your free consultation today to get the inside scoop on all the sale pricing. Your free consultation will allow you to understand your options and plan your budget so you can save on services such as Botox, filler, laser treatments, facials, skin care, and more. Schedule your free consultation and mark your calendar, April 8th through the 12th. BeautyBarMediSpa.com. 
Hello, Eastern North Carolina. Pitt County Schools is in the opportunity business. We open doors for every student by finding pathways to provide the best possible chance of success for each to reach their career aspirations of choice. As we head through the spring months, we will continue to guide our students for the different journeys of life preparedness before celebrating their accomplishments. We are committed to enhancing academic achievement and developing personal growth through work-based learning of our many career and technical education programs college readiness, and saluting those who will be serving our country in the armed forces, engaging, empowering, and elevating students to be successful citizens, workers, and leaders in a global economy remains our mission. Please visit our website today at pittschools.org. That's pittschools.org to learn how we grow minds and invest in our future through 38 schools and one community. Education is truly the key that unlocks doors of opportunity. UBE and PirateWare.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWare.com. Go Pirates! This is Wyatt Lunsford Shankman from ECU Baseball. You're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding Pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. The technicians at New Blue stand ready to face any challenge that time or the elements may throw at your home, and your home deserves the best. And New Blue is ready to help with any electrical, plumbing, and HVAC needs. New Blue also now specializes in crawl, uh, crawl space moisture, moisture control. I'd like to buy a vowel, apparently, and encapsulations, along with septic system repairs and installations. Contact them today at callnublue.com. New Blue Service Group, redefining service excellence. And the Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates. This weekend at the Buck, they're going to have the Eli Craig Band starting at 10 o'clock tonight and the Ryan Trotty Band on Saturday. And as always, ladies, your entry is free all weekend long. Sunday Fun Day kicks off at the Buck as they host the ECU Club Cornhole, uh, Cornhole Tournament. It is... <laughs> Boy, you can tell it's Friday. Uh... It's free fall. It is a free for. You know what? Screw this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, but. I'm uh, looking forward to the core ornament. <laughs> Cornholio. Jeez. Uh, right. Cornhole tournament. Have you been across the street? <laughs> no. Actually, I haven't. How many sub crushes have you took down? Bags fly at 3 o'clock. It is the night with DJ Kid Sing. See you at the buck. Clip, take it away. All right. Thank you very much, Shirley Rhodes. Jeez. They are. This diet is messing me up. Is that what it is? They're yeah. going wild across the street. Doggy jams going on. DJ Shaq Diesel, better known as Shaquille O'Neal, is about 40 yards away from us right now. And a bunch of crazy ECU students are over there as well, having a good time. But here in the studio, things are calm. We're watching the Masters, and we're being adults. And uh, we'll talk some Masters now with Mark Greenheld, Golf Shop Show, coming your way on Saturday. Greeny, how you doing today, man? I'm doing great, Cliff. How you doing? Doing good. Uh, I just counted, Greeny. I think we got 16 golfers under par as uh, we speak here at 521 Eastern Time on Friday. Is that uh, Does that number sound right? Is that number low? Uh, what do you think about that particular number? score the last average the last five years when you take out the one that was played in november is 12 under par i mean i know your leaders are sitting at seven under right now um but yeah that's that's a little bit low for you know for what you'd expect a little bit of rain that happened uh, on thursday but it's really the wind that's causing the big problems i mean when you look at the traditional scoring holes in the back nine 13 and 15 a lot of guys aren't even going for the green and two just because the wind is swirling so much and they're trying not to make a bogey on a hole that they should be making birdie on. So 
golf course is playing tough, and it's only going to get tougher over the weekend. Scheffler and that group are on 11 right now, Greeny, 522. Um, are they going to finish, or, or, do you, or do we get behind again? We had a, we had some groups that had to finish up this morning. Do you think we get back on schedule today? Will they be able to, to complete their round? Yeah, I think that you're probably going to see a little bit of a push there at the end to finish, um, just because guys don't want to have to come back, especially you know somebody like Scotty Scheffler, who's going to be in the last group. He doesn't want to have to come back at 7, 7 o'clock in the morning and get out on uh, one of the last couple holes in play. So if it's possible, they'll do everything they can to try and finish um, and and just kind of take it from there. I mean, it's it's the, the shots aren't that big a deal. It's going to be the putts. And with this wind blowing, man, it's going to make it even tougher uh, with some of these gusts. I mean, earlier the, the when Tiger was finishing up on 18, I mean, he had to stop and wait because he was getting sandblasted because the wind was blowing hard, so hard. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was a crazy visual there. Like a, a windy day at the beach, Tiger having to shield himself. You could see the sand uh, just blasting on him there. Um, Grinny, you say conditions will get tougher this weekend. Explain that to the novice like me. I get hole placement and things like that, but is that weather? Like, what, what is going to make what are what is going to make the conditions tougher Saturday and Sunday? What you're going to see is it's going to become even firmer and faster. So, yeah, you might see guys getting roll out on tee shots, balls rolling all over the place, but the problem is the greens aren't going to hold. And when you talk about Augusta National, they always say that tee to green Augusta National is not that difficult a golf course because the fairways are, are very wide. You you know, the rough, which they call the second cut, is is not that penal, right? But the problem is you have, when they get the pin placements out there, you have very narrow spots that you can land the ball in and get it to funnel into a certain area. If you don't, the ball wants to roll away from the pin. Uh, the ball wants to roll off the greens. It wants to roll into water hazards. So that becomes the problem is a lot of these guys haven't seen these, these types of conditions ever at Augusta National. Uh, some of the older guys have seen it. And it becomes a much more difficult golf course. I mean, when, when you can hit the ball and stop it, you can fire at pins all day long. When you have to try and land one 30, 30 feet short of a flag stick to get it to roll to a certain spot and then funnel down to a hole, it becomes very difficult. So what you'll see is, man, if seven unders leading at the end of today, you almost would say that maybe eight or nine under is a good finishing score wow. on Sunday afternoon. Greeny, uh, watching John Rahm putt right now uh, on 11, and he is three over. He's trying to make the cut. So I guess you could throw that into maybe a surprise on the, the bad side. Uh, and then any any surprise, Bryson DeChambeau is at the top with his minus seven. I know Scheffler, he was the favorite, so not a surprise to see him up there. But how about Scheffler, uh, or excuse me, DeChambeau playing great, Rahm struggling a little bit, uh, and any other surprises so far for you? Yeah, well, I, you know, you don't know what you're going to get out of Bryson. He has not won on the Live Tour this year. As a matter of fact, after after both of his really good rounds on the Live Tour this year, a 7 and an 8 under par, he was plus 3 and plus 4 in his next round. So you really don't know what you're going to get out of Bryson for four rounds, and it still remains to be seen if, you know, these Live guys playing their third year of uh, of 54 holes, you know, what is that What is that last 18 holes? Huh. Uh, yeah. Our Open champion Brian Harmon, when we when we suspended play yesterday, he was two under par. He shot forty seven on the back nine, finishing up this morning eleven over par <laughs> on the back nine. Wow, that's probably the biggest surprise that I saw. That along with the fact that somebody like Dustin Johnson is going to finish behind sixty four year old Freddie Couples on the leaderboard, and Dustin <laughs> Johnson. I mean, we always talk about the defending champions or guys that have won the Masters before can come back because it's the same golf course and they have all the experience. You expect them to at least make the cut or come close to making the cut. Dustin Johnson at, like, plus 14. Mark Greenell is joining us. Pirate Radio Live Line. Colin Morikawa uh, making a nice uh, run today. He is three under par, four back of the leaders right now. Scheffler was the favorite going into this. He is the live odds favorite right now. Uh, do you like anybody else to, let's say Scheffler doesn't win, Greeny. Who, who would you have winning? Max Homa uh, is up there right now, of course. So anybody kind of lurking right now that could maybe catch up? 
Well, Max Homa is reminding me of Justin Thomas when Justin Thomas won the Players' Championship a few years ago. He, Justin Thomas had the ultimate control of his golf ball. He was hitting shots right to left. He was hitting shots left to right. He was hitting them high. He was hitting them low. He was hitting in the middle. He really had big-time control of his golf ball. That's what I've seen out of Max Homa so far. I've seen him with the most ball control, especially in this ridiculously windy weather. So that's what I look for over Saturday and Sunday, especially as the golf course does get firmer, is somebody who really has control of their golf ball and is able to do that. And so far, he is the one guy that I've watched over two rounds that really has that more than anybody else. Granny, great stuff. Looking forward to uh, what you guys have to say coming up uh, tomorrow morning on the Golf Shop Show. A lot of Masters coverage. Uh, What all you got planned for Saturday? Yeah, we always talk to Bob Jones IV, who is the grandson of Bobby Jones, who uh, is the founder of Augusta National. So the great Bobby Jones' grandson always gives us a a different story every time we talk to him about his grandfather and about Augusta National. We'll also talk with uh, John Boyette, who's down there uh, working uh, one of the papers down there in Augusta. So he'll give us kind of a boots-on-the-ground feel of how things are going to go over the weekend. And as always, we'll check in with Bill Bender, the Sporting News, and find out what else is going on in the world of sports. Granny, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the golf. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right, right, there is Mark Greenhelge, Golf Shop Show, joining us. Scotty Scheffler, Bryson DeChambeau at six under par, or seven under right now, uh, tied for the lead. Max Homa, six under at Augusta on the Buccaneer Music Hall leaderboard, presented by Da Buck. Da Buck. You wanted the Buck this weekend, Sean? I'll probably be out there at some point. I bet you will. I bet you'll be at Daddy Ficklin Stadium and Clark LeClaire Stadium this weekend. I know that for a fact. Yep. All right, let's take another break. We'll come back. Brian North joins us on the other side as we roll on on a Friday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after this. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time. It's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Spring is a great time to plant flowers, trees, and bushes. When planning your landscape, please keep in mind that you should never plant anything within three feet of a gas, electric, or water meter. The same thing applies if you have an electric transformer in your yard, except keep plants eight feet clear of the front in case crews need access during a storm or an outage. Always remember to call 811 at least three business days before you dig to avoid underground lines. This important safety message is from your neighbors at Greenville Utilities. Hey, Pirate Nation, be sure to have the best and comfortable shoes with a stop at Flea Feet. This is ECU alum Chris Lunyon, owner of Flea Feet of Greenville, and we provide solutions through one-on-one service to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Flea Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Come visit us at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Flea Feet, we run for you. Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith is F3 and is changing lives of men right here in your community. Just listen. DJ Fussell, 37, Yoraka. I've been a part of F3 now for three years. Uh, It's impacted both my physical life, my spiritual life, and it's also impacted my life and my family. It has got me in the best physical shape of my life. And then also on top of that, it's helped connect me to some brothers that hold me accountable every single day. F3ENC.com. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started if you want to be great. The Brunch is back. The famous Brunch Buffet at Fifth Street Hardware has a variety of breakfast and lunch items from 10.30 to 2, including an omelet station and prime rib and a special Sunday cocktail menu, including mimosa flights. Don't forget, Fifth Street Hardware has lunch specials every day, along with over 40 beers on tap. Trivia Wednesday, live music every Thursday night and a late night menu through the weekend. Visit FifthStreetHardware.com or give them a follow on Facebook and Instagram for a weekly lineup and more. Go Pirates! 
Your Wood Ducks host the Carolina Mudcats April 16th through the 21st. Join us on Thirsty Thursday for $2 natural lights, bush lights, and peanuts. It is 90s night on Friday in a Woody Scarf giveaway presented by MedSource Pharmacy and the UPS Store. On Saturday, there will be a World Series t-shirt giveaway for the first 1,000 fans sponsored by Piggly Wiggly. Get your tickets at WoodDucksBaseball.com or at the box office the day of the game. The Wood Ducks can't wait to see you all summer long for some Wood Ducks baseball. Go Woodies! I'm Donald Stocks, owner of Pip Marketing Science Print. We are your one-stop shop for just about anything printed. If we're not your go-to printer, please give us a call at 355-1636. We have over 80 five-star Google reviews and want you to be our next more than satisfied and well-pleased customer. Check us out at growitpip.com or stop in to see us at 3185 Mosley Drive in Greenville. Pip where business goes to grow. For the latest from the world of golf, tune in every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 for the Golf Shop Radio Show, presented by PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com, the golf capital of the world. Hosts Mark Greenhelch and Matt Blanchard talk golf from tee to green and everything in between. If you like golf, you're going to love Golf Shop Radio. Before you tee up, drop on in. Welcome to the Golf Shop. Pirate Radio. Life's good, and why wouldn't it be? Drink up, me, Aussie Joe Ho. I'm a pirate after all. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. And both locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving shell gas, including 93-ethanol-free high-octane gas. Country Mart, fueling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live. Shout-out to DJ Shaq Diesel, DJ Diesel, for... uh, telling the crowd to protect the ladies of East Carolina and watch the ladies in the mosh pit. I like that PSA. Chandler, I don't know. How long could you... Let's say you were in the first row of that right now. How long could you stay there? Like, Would you be there for the whole thing? I'm good after about two minutes. That's just not never been my scene. Yeah, mine either. I don't know. It depends on the alcohol consumed. Right. That could make you do some like some right now, things. nah. Yeah. Now, if that was chairman over there, ah oh, man, I'd General be up Johnson. in there shagging away. Son. Give me <laughs> another <laughs> birthday, baby. All you Carolina girls go to the mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funky chicken in the mosh pit. All right, let's head out to let's keep keep rolling along. Busy show here this Friday. Head out to the Pirate Radio Live Line. Joining us, Brian North, WCTI 12. Great sports weekend with a lot going on. We'll talk about it now. North, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Clipper. Hope you are. Yes, sir. Doing well. Got the Masters on uh, here inside the Pirate Radio studios. And I always like to ask this time of year, especially a guy like you, Brian, that has covered a lot, seen a lot of cool events, big events, great athletes. Uh, is there a, a, a Masters type or a, a bucket list item uh, in sports you would still like to hit before you are done uh, on this earth? Yeah, Masters is one. I, that's always a hard media credential to get, and I've never put a lot of emphasis on it. But, you know, I'd love to see. It's one of those things. You, you can see the beauty on television, but I think seeing it in person would be spectacular. And, and the traditions, and I wouldn't mind paying like $1.25 for the sandwiches because they still have the prices under food if you can get in there. Yeah. So that's a good but, uh, so what do we need, Brian, like an Eastern North Carolina guy to, to get in? Uh, well, at Harold, but like a guy from New Bern or something, and maybe you could sneak your way in? So what I've always been told is it like takes years to get on the credential list. Right. It's, it's, it's part of the tradition that they have. They just don't let anybody in or they didn't used to. So you'd have to have a really good reason, and, of course, you'd have to show the club in a great way, blah, blah, blah. But it's, I've always heard it, it, it takes years to get through the list. Now, 
I, I don't know if that's still the case or not anymore, but um, that's what I've been told. And you, yeah, you'd have to have a, a great, a great reason to prove to the, the people who own the club that you're not going to besmirch them in any way. Maybe you could get Vern Lundquist's spot as he is uh, stepping down uh, after this year. The great Uncle Vern. Uh, what else, Brian? Anything else on that list for you? Uh, Derby or uh, Super Bowl? I mean, you've been to, have you been to a Super Bowl? So, I mean, I've been to, I've been to two Super Bowls. Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't done a World Series. NBA Finals would be okay, but it's not like yeah. must must for me. I, I've covered a heavyweight championship boxing match. I've covered two Stanley Cup finals. I've covered you a w- golf tournament. How about a World Cup? Is that on the that anywhere near your list? Not, not high on my list, but if it were close, I certainly would take advantage of it. Right. Little League World Series is on my list. Oh, yeah. Off in 2017. That was like those traditional places that you could go to uh, would be really cool. Uh, I still haven't been to the Belmont for, for horse racing. That's um, my one missing thing on the Triple Crown is the Belmont. I've been to um, Preakness, and I've been to the Kentucky Derby. So, so still a few things out there. I, I, I'm an old-school baseball guy, and in my mind, I would like to go to all these different baseball stadiums, but I don't know if I can make it to Oakland before they shut it down this year. Tampa, we've been there, obviously, for ECU's bowl game, but I haven't been there for a baseball game, and they're you know talking about a new stadium there. So, But I, I try to get to baseball stadiums while they're still functioning. A lot of O's fans would like to hear this, but uh, I think a World Series at Camden Yards would be cool just because it, it's it got that old-school feel. It was built in the 90s to be a new retro-look ballpark, and uh, that maybe and that not a bad drive, so put that one down. And, and they're, they're pretty good, Brian, so you got a yeah. chance. Right, and so and they haven't been to a World Series uh, since moving into Camden, right? Yeah, no, nah, since, uh, what, Cal in the 80s, right? Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, early age, 83. Was that the last time that they've been? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been, and it's, it is cool there. You know, I've, I've been to games there, and it, it, we always like our ENC connections. There's a brick out on Utah Street with Lonnie Chisholm's name where he hit a long home run one time. Anybody who hits a home run out of the bricks, they, they oh, cool. put a brick out there for them with the home run distance on it. So, there's some really neat stuff out there, yeah. Brian North joining us. Uh, bucket list item for a lot of my state fans was to see them back in the Final Four, and uh, and they were there, and uh, we're not there long, uh, Brian. And but uh, great run by the Wolfpack, ran into a Zach Eady and the machine that is Purdue, and then the a bigger machine uh, took down Purdue on Monday. Just complete dominance by UConn, and to see Tristan Newton, most outstanding player, getting it done on the big stage, still kind of surreal to think he uh, used to be here in Menchie's Coliseum putting up points, but uh, but how about UConn, man? Just a, a dominant run to a back-to-back t- uh, championship. Yeah, now Danny Hurley's got it going on, and I let me ask you, is easy, maybe I shouldn't ask you this with, with how you respond to EC stuff, but were, were you offended by Tristan Newton saying that uh, transferring to UConn was the greatest decision he ever made in his life? Um, I don't know how you could argue it, so yeah, that's not going to offend me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and I'd love to know. You know what? I, if, if if I were an administrator at ECU, I, I would try and get a hold of Tristan Newton and say, "Hey, Tristan, you said it's the greatest thing that you ever did. What can we do here at ECU?" To, look, we're not going to replicate what they're doing at UConn overnight, but what can we do here? What do they do there that was so great for you that we can start to do here to make our basketball program better? You know, I'd reach out to people who have been successful, who know the ECU program, and maybe that's a way for them to, to try to take some steps forward. But not a bad idea, Brian. I, I wonder, the, like, and there's got to be some answers in there. The, the first one is uh, winning a championship. <laughs> but you, you got to find out that you, what, what can we do I guess outside of that, that 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 a UConn is doing, or that uh, maybe Jane Garden Gardner experienced at Virginia. That's a good idea, Brian. Uh, I like that. It's little, right? It's little things. Yeah. What what things are they doing? And again, you can't just go win a championship. <laughs> little things. Yeah. So what are they doing at those places that you saw that we weren't doing that we aren't doing at East Carolina that we can start taking those steps at least forward? Uh, so I, just people who I always want to know from people who have been here who have gone on to have success other places, what they could do to change it here. Brian, as somebody who's followed it as long as you have and uh, have been pretty close to the Blue Bloods in Chapel Hill and Durham, and, of course, you got your Kansases, Kentucky, uh, and Kentuckys, is it 
a sign of the times maybe of the shifting landscape of college athletics that Kentucky maybe had such a hard time filling in that spot for John Calipari. They go to an old wildcat, Mark Pope, uh, at BYU, but they were publicly uh, shot down a few times. Uh, and, and you know, does, does that happen 30 years ago? No, probably not, but times change. And yeah. change. And the way John Calipari has done things there has kind of changed what they've done. And now if you're going to come in and you're going to be expected to win right away, are you being, being given the resources, the blueprint, the whatever you need to be successful? Because, look, that's one of those places where you're in a no-win situation unless you win. <laughs> so they expect nothing less there. So, I mean, that's tough, you know. They've had a couple down years, but still, replacing John Calipari, who had great success there, whether it was legal or not, or whether you believe he did all the things all the right way. He had pretty good success for a while, but then he leaves you before he gets booted, which is always, to me, kind of a little bit of a red flag, which means there may be some turmoil going on there um, in, the, in the trenches uh, in Kentucky. It's kind of crazy, Brian, that John Calipari was looked at as the, the renegade and the, the maverick, and he would bring in one-and-done guys. And yeah. now... He he was almost behind the times. Where everybody's building it with transfers, he was still doing his freshman thing. And it's kind of funny that now that's out of style, and um, and and he's got to go the new route, which is bring in old guys. You got to get old fast. And he, his teams were uh, maybe too young, you could say, over the years. Well, I think we've seen the mix, right? You've got to have a mix of, of both. You've yeah. got to have some experienced guys, and you still got to. If you can get the top tier talent, that's great. But you've got to surround them now with guys who have played the game and are a little bit bigger and a little bit more knowledgeable that can pass that on much quicker. And so I think that's kind of where it is right now, but that formula is always going to change depending on the parameters that are out there. Brian North joining us. Uh, speaking of bucket list items, Brian, I'll be about 40 feet, uh, well, we'll say 40 yards uh, from Shaquille O'Neal this afternoon uh, because Doggy Jams is setting up across from us and it is a zoo in downtown Greenville. In Greenville, and the, the base is... Uh, as they prepare for it, is vibrating the walls here. So, uh, I don't know, is seeing uh, Shaq DJ uh, on your bucket list, Brian? <laughs> no, but I've seen Shaq in person. I, I saw, I've seen him play before, and I've seen him stand next to Yao Ming, and Yao Ming made him look small. So that's uh, it, it, that's some crazy stuff. You but, saw that with your own two eyes, like in person. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna ask, like the biggest human you've seen. I guess is Yao Ming the answer there? Or? Ming by far. Yeah, yeah. I mean that and. and so back when I was talking about covering a Super Bowl, when I went to Houston uh, for the Panthers' Super Bowl 38, when they took on the Patriots, Steve Clifford had just left ECU and went to be went to the uh, Rockets to be an assistant coach. And so we stopped by practice one day just to kind of make that connection. Nice. Yeah, I stood next to Yao Ming, and I was just like, my God, I've never seen a mountain of a man this big before. So, so yeah, it's uh, uh, that that is by far. And, and he wasn't just tall. He wasn't Sean Bradley. I mean, this guy right. was thick. And just big, and I never saw Andre the Giant, but I can't have, you know, that was another large human being, but I never saw him in person, so uh, Yao was the, the biggest person I've ever seen in person. We were talking, uh, watching Edie on a Saturday at Tiebreakers, and uh, started talking about, like, the biggest guys in college basketball ever. Did you cover a game, or did you see uh, Kenny George, remember the UNC Asheville guy, who yeah. was, like, seven foot eight or whatever? Yeah, I never saw him in person. Okay. I thought he was, and he was one of those guys who didn't have to dunk have to, didn't have to leave his feet to dunk. There's like a, a YouTube video out there of guys who never had to jump to dunk. And, of course, he's featured on it. Brian North joining us, Pirate Radio Live Line. Brian, uh, I guess uh, Luke will be out tomorrow. You, you going to catch any spring game at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium? Yeah, not sure yet, depending on what's going on with the family. The, the conflict is Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to be in Jacksonville, and his media availability is at noon tomorrow. So uh, trying to get in the spring game and Jr., who's racing, at the New River All American Speedway between Jacksonville and Richlands tomorrow night, so that we got some conflicts going on in the sports world in Eastern North Carolina. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely have somebody out there and, and representing. I don't know if it's going to be me yet or not, based on uh, uh, it all depend on what the family decides tomorrow morning. If you could, Brian, um, if all the real questions are asked and you get a moment, could you ask him one for your buddy, Clip Brock, and uh, ask him what he wants to do uh, with the number two pick and uh, if he thinks Dan Quinn can turn the Commanders into a winner? He's a huge Washington fan. Yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I'm sure, 
certainly you will he'll have an opinion on it. So yeah, maybe that's a good question to lob at him. There you go. A Bri- bit closer to the situation. Yep. Brian North joining us, Pirate Radio Live Line. And uh we've had spring games in the past, Brian, that are glorified practices. I, I feel like I could be way off here, but just judging by what Mike Houston says. Uh, ticket sales are going good, by the way. Better now this time this year than they were this time last year. But I still feel like he, he he wants to sell tickets. He wants to get people excited. So I think he wants to show what John David Baker's been doing behind the scenes and, and maybe try to put on a little offensive show tomorrow. We'll see if that translates to the field. And we'll see if Blake Harrell's defense allows that to happen. Um, but I do think maybe there's a little more – added emphasis uh, from Houston on this year's spring game, maybe than years past, because he wants to get the fans back, you know, in the good graces. Uh, certainly trying to curry favor. He's never been in this situation before his coaching career. So yeah. He's trying to win fans back over, but you don't want to show too much. But you want to show I, – I think they'll try and come out and show pace. Yeah. I think – yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, I'm not saying they're going to go WWE here, but I think with what they have back on defense, they may – either sit some guys out or may just say, hey, let's let's not blitz every time. Let's let's let the offense get some confidence here. Let's get the fans a little confidence. So I, I think they'd like to show an up pace, a uh, faster paced vanilla offense, if that says anything. And and get the get the people's appetites wet and get some positivity back yeah. in the fans in the program. I think he's just trying to get everybody back in that side of being excited again. Brian North joining us, Pirate Radio Live Line. Got Pirate Baseball at home as well. They're coming off two midweek wins and uh, got Charlotte in town this weekend. Brian, as Cliff Godwin's Pirates, you you kind of look away for a week or two and uh, look back and they're top 10 in the RPI and uh, folks getting excited about potentially hosting again. Uh, but they got to take care of their business on the field. What I love about what Cliff Godwin does year in and year out is you always know who your stars are coming back and how they perform is always important. But the players who develop from day one of yeah. the season to the end of it, and there's always guys that come out of nowhere halfway through the season, and you're starting to see that with the bullpen. So I always love to see that development of it because they're going to play a key role. And I think the bullpen, especially when you get into these postseason series and you, and you might need a deep bullpen, uh, so finding these guys who aren't afraid of the moment I think is really important, especially playing five games in six days and, and the other thing is, with as weak as the conference is, you've got to stack those midweek wins and, and build that RPI and build that resume. And I was curious how many wins EC would need to host a regional and to host a super regional. We always thought the, the 40 win mark was always kind of where you needed to be to, to be in that discussion. And I know RPI is a lot more of the discussion now and the quality wins. But um, when it's all said and done, I'm curious, you know, is that 40 win plateau they need to get to 40 plus wins? to make sure they get to host the postseason events again. Brian North joining us, Pirate Radio Live Line. Looking forward to a packed sports weekend. And, um, Brian, one more time. Did, so what is Dale Jr. doing in Jacksonville, by the way? Uh, we kind of yeah, brushed so, over that. Yeah, so he actually, in the offseason, he and Kevin Harvick and uh, was it uh, Jeff Burton, they bought what was called what, what is called the Cars Tour, which is not NASCAR sanctioned, but it's a minor league racing circuit. And so that Cars Tour is, was supposed to actually be in Jacksonville a couple of weeks ago, got rained out. So they moved it to this date, and that's when Junior checked his calendar and said, oh, I got nothing going on April 13th. Mind if I come down and get behind a, the three car and uh, a bunch of laps, do 125 laps in Jacksonville? And, you know, they couldn't open the door fast enough, so Junior's going to get behind the wheel of a car. Rarely, he doesn't do this a whole lot these days, but since he has an investment in this uh, tour, uh, he's going to try to help boost his own investment by racing in the three car Saturday night in Jacksonville or Onslow County between Jacksonville and Richland. Very cool. Good stuff. Brian North joining us today. North, have a great weekend, man, and uh, we'll reconvene with you the next week. Look forward to it, Clipper. There is Brian North joining us, Power Radio Live Line. Watching some Masters uh, with everything going on this weekend. And Scotty Scheffler in the lead by himself at the moment now at seven under par, one stroke ahead of Bryson DeChambeau and Max Homa. You can uh, bet on a little Masters this weekend with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR. Uh, It is live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings for a limited time. New customers who sign up with promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more. 
with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips masters nba nhl a lot going on and a lot to bet on with DraftKings sportsbook app which you can get right now and use the code pirate and bet five dollars to get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings sportsbook with the code pirate the crown is yours if you have a gambling problem call 877-718-5543 or visit more than the game.nc.gov 21 plus north carolina only bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance deposit and eligibility restrictions apply terms at draftkings.com slash sportsbook slash nc nascar is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license we'll take a break come back get ready to wrap things up on a friday edition of pirate radio live after these words Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates! The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up! Ahoy, Pirates! It's Lindsey Gray with Carolina Caliber. Winter ship has sailed and it's time to spring into turkey season. Stop by, mention this ad, and we will give you a set of Primo's Pattern Turkey Targets to help you get sighted in. Speaking of spring, we're cleaning house with deals you can't miss. Tune in weekly for details, and don't forget, we've got the largest selection of firearms and accessories in Eastern NC and over 60 years of experience in helping meet your firearm needs. Shop online or come see us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. It's a time-honored tradition. <laughs> Give me that gooey, gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watering. Give me that creamy, dreamy, meaty, topping, pepperoni, popping. Give me that crispy, Kobe, baby, Papa John. Better get you some. Try the trio before it's gone. Hey, Pirate fans, Papa John's is the MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at papajohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Go Pirates. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Good news, business travelers. PGV and American Airlines has added a new early morning flight available now. Book today at aa.com and be on time for that connection in Charlotte. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American flights perfect for your next trip. PGV, where the pirates fly. There's a common misbelief today that to make it further, you need to push yourself, that you need to give up any joy to continue your rigid routine. Or you could try another way. Take some time to enjoy life, like having a Michelob Ultra with friends, because happiness is essential to living an exceptional life. Michelob Ultra, a refreshing and balanced flavor with only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Michelob Ultra, proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. The weather is beautiful and our screen door shouts welcome. Russell's Clothing is loaded with beautiful spring merchandise for men and women. The collection of dresses is amazing. You'll find dress or casual and accessories to complete any outfit. Our men's slacks and assorted sportswear can take you anywhere. Our personal service and our free signature gift wrap make shopping easy. Make Russell's in downtown Washington your shopping destination because at Russell's, it's all about you, our pirate friends and customers. The Angus Grill is your premier spot for the best burgers, cheesesteaks, and brisket sandwiches around. Join us for our unmatched variety of burger combinations. From the mushroom bacon Swiss burger to the jalapeno popper burger to the original Angus Classic. Pair that burger with our amazing onion rings, tots, fries, or sweet potato fries. Angus Grill, with four amazing locations in eastern North Carolina, including Winterville near Pitt Community College, on Jarvis Street in Uptown Greenville, and on Statensburg Road near the hospital. It's the best burger around. Guaranteed. Pirate Radio. Remember, in a pirate ship, in pirate waters, in a pirate world, ask no questions. 
believe only what you see. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Uh, The Dow was down 475 points and closed the week at 37,983. The NASDAQ was down 267 at 16,175, and the S&P was down 75 points at 5,123. That is your Wells Fargo Advisor Stock Market Report for a personal look into investing. Call Wells Fargo Advisors today at 756-6900 in Greenville. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC, member SIPC. Now let's head back in to the show. Did y'all see the, uh, <laughs> the statue they unveiled today? For Alan Iverson, I saw you tweet about it. What happened? Uh, you got to look at look at it for yourself. Uh, Do I need to Google it? Is it? It's tiny. Like uh, I don't understand it. <laughs> oh my god! I'm looking at this. Uh, I just typed in Alan Iverson's name. They're showing that video of the guy giving the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh That's my gosh my it looks like it is it, it's yeah. like all of five feet tall yeah like iverson's a short fella but um they didn't need to do him like that it's a miniature statue it's like a little kid i mean <laughs> okay all right it ain't no kobe statue that's okay, for sure i think i've got some context so it looks like it makes a little more sense you now. see how alan iverson's looking at it yeah. he's like what but look at this so all of their statues i guess are similar size although those look taller than alan iverson's so it's not a, supposed to be a big statue but it's still very tiny <laughs> i don't know i, I, I don't I, I that looks weird to me but his reaction made it kind of funny too there's a very uh very small statue I need a Chan statue. Yeah, I would love to see my bust uh, at camp. And the head we'd put on it. <laughs> It'd be a bobblehead. You would have to put the snapback on backwards. <laughs> yeah, with have, the button. Yeah. All right. Fun show. Yes, sir. Now time to head to Clark LeClaire Stadium. You're going to go see the park. Park. Shirley, enjoyed it. See you Monday. See you Monday. Chandler, I'll see you at Daddy Ficklin Stadium tomorrow. I'll see you there. All right, and we'll talk to you fine folks Monday, 3 o'clock, on an all-new edition of Pirate Radio Live. For the crew, I'm Clip Rock. Jeff Charles, take us home. Have a great night, Eastern Carolina. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 